<clears throat> welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Darcy. This is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew. I've um, heard that before, and uh, I checked into it. It's uh, it's true. Is, is it valid? It's valid. Isn't it's a valid statement. Source? It's a hard to evaluate best it is a it's biased subjective. it is a biased best source <laughs> a biased best source i may be biased it's in my, my best source for... <laughs> yes hey i was listening to that yeah oh we can switch it back to the music if you want we'll take a vote <laughs> who wants to listen to the music some more uh welcome d train oh dan avc just subscribed ah. thank you very much five months currently on a three month streak hello 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 everyone we've got five games today um, I was digging in the uh, digging in the archives, looking for some games. It's a bit of a lull in new games. Nobody's put out any new ones or big updates, so I had to dig in the archives today. So I've got five. A Maze from 2002 by who knows? Don't know who did it. Oh, yeah. Uh, MMSBC2, uh, Trash Mania and Trash Mania Remix, and we're going to be going for a homebrew patch. Activision prototype game Kebobber. Hmm. This game was actu uh, actually never put out by Activision. Oh. Um, so what are you looking at? I'm looking at oh, the screen the where it says Kebobber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game was never put out by Activision. It's a pretty fun game. Um, it was never put out, but they had a patch for it? or the patch They was... never had a patch okay. either. <laughs> right. This is a homebrew patch for a prototype Activision game. It's a whole bunch of never released kind of situation. Ah, the uh, the community's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say. They love making things for things that don't really officially exist, but it's fun anyway. I like that five game Friday. Don't put burdens on me <laughs> to come up with five games every Friday. No, it's not going to start. But they're small games. That's why there's five. If they're big games, I'll go like down to three games or sometimes two, but usually three minimum, five maximum. Best kind of patches are the ones you award yourself. That's right. <laughs> I deserve this, me. Um, thank you to all the Twitch subscribers who support the show. Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalogs, Charles and Chegg, Dianoid, Dan, AVC, Drex, Saul, Dr. Napalm 75, Glenn Main, Ground Trooper, Johnny E. Nitro, Johnny WC 23, Carl G. Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo, <laughs> Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Tietfos, Trek MD, and. No, Dan ABC was already on the list, so he just re-upped his subscription. Present, present, sound off, everyone. <laughs> um, and you can support the show and subscribe for free, too, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And make sure you follow us on all the things. You know what things. Um, and welcome to everybody who is joining us today. Nathan Strum. S. Ramirez, 2008, Metal Atari, 1969, the D-Train, 06502, Dios Kilos, 80, uh, Dan AVC, Dianoid, Thrust, 26, Carl G, Flackets, that's a newish name, you may have seen it before, 06502, Al Nefer, Grey Defender, and everybody else who's lurking and not talking. <laughs> Not touching their keyboard. The, Just watch. Is this lurking or is this I'm a bunny? About to attack. I'm a cat? A small, it's all sorts of mammals. Small creature about to attack, I think. <laughs> yeah. A whole bunch of animals. I have a poll question today. And it's very, very important. You know, on video games, you have a lives counter. And yep. either it's represented by a number or little men or whatever thing they want to indicate, little dots. And it says three lives left. Or more importantly, it says one life left. Okay. 
What does that mean to you? <laughs> it means... And you're playing. You're currently playing. It means... You're playing around and it says one It means, left. oh no, is this my last life? Or do I have one? Or can I die one time? Yeah. It's, That's I probably think, the best answer. I, I feel it should mean that you can die one more time. You have one in reserve. Yes. This is a... You... Like like uh, in Galaga or... Mm -hmm. like Galagon. Galagon, yeah. whatever. That means you have... This that, is your reserve, not... That guy's standing by. That guy's standing by. He's a guy that could go up on the screen. Yeah. If he, yeah. And and I, I think that's... I get that it could or be either, Or in Satan's either, Hollow, but... he could be stolen. Like in Satan's Hollow, those are mm. actual guys, and the enemies come down and steal your extra uh, lives. That's pretty cool. And similar to Galaga, where he can be summoned into the game. Yeah. Um, scrolling names are covering up the 2600. Well, it'll change. <laughs> That'll change. Um, so let's put this poll on the screen and you guys can vote what you think. So there you go. Num so what does lives left number in a video game mean? The total lives in reserve. I'm just going to press one right now. Oh, are you voting? For oh, you have I'm, to click. I'm voting for you because, no, you know what? I'll vote for me. Okay. Damn it. And I am going to vote for me. Wait, can I do that me. if I haven't logged in yet? Uh, I don't know. So I so number one is total lives left in reserve, excluding the one you're playing. So if it says one and you're playing, that means you have one more. There is no three. Um, and number two is total lives. If it says one and you're playing, that is actually your last life. And this came up because I was I just got Mr. Driller Drill Land for the Switch, and I was playing it yesterday. And I was very surprised when it said game over and I was playing and I had one life. It said one. Yeah. And I was playing and I died and it said game over. I was like, but I have one left. What? Uh, it depends. One I left. Guess, like if it's an icon on the screen. Right. Then that, I think if it was a number. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't expect it to say zero. Right. You, you, I don't know. It would never... be confusing if it was a, a total. Here's it says how many... zero when it says game over. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Um, um, that's not... That's. Generally I don't speaking, assume yeah. that. I assume one means I have one extra left. But... Azure says one. If they were ships, they would be your fleet. And yeah, in some games, usually when it's represented by a, a character, like a, a, an icon... That is definitely like reserve, right? But numbers, you might be right, but I, each game is different for sure. Um, but Basically, you, what do you, think? you should be generous in that regard. Right. You should be like, what I mean by generous is that the number there is how many extra you have extra. because there's no reason not to do it that way. Yeah. There's no reason. And it's not even confusing. It's like, and it's like a bonus if you didn't know if that. If you didn't know that, it's a bonus. It's yeah. like... You're going to get hate and anger if you do it the other way, but you <laughs> yes. won't get any hate and or anger if you do it that way. That's get, the best reason to do get, it that way. You may get temporary confusion, yeah. but not hate. Yeah. You'd be like, it will oh, make your slightly. code slightly, like ever so slightly more complicated. In right? Xevious, it says zero sol value left when you start your final life. And yet, there it is on screen. <laughs> so... Um, and uh, Flackett says, I've used both ways to represent lives. It depends on how it's displayed. I believe that. Yeah, yeah. If it says blah left, then and that's still ambiguous a bit. But it also, I'm surprised. It, People are voting very differently. There's I, a lot of ones. There's a lot of ones, but there's a bunch more twos than I thought. Um, yeah, I always, always, always assumed that was extra lives. Always. And I think for most video games, that's what it is. Because I was very surprised when I was playing the game that I died and it was game over. But yeah. uh, I, I feel like I need to comment. 75 on a, to 25. Yeah. There was a, someone said that the Atari is being covered up by... Oh, now it's very covered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's understandable. But yeah. like... Um, I don't, I'm looking at the screen there and I think there's room to like not have it covered up. There, you put it over on the left. You instead. could have the chat. You could slide the chat over. <sighs> and actually, the zero page would fit in the gap between the Twitch line. That zero page is always in the left. Okay. So that's for consistency. Yeah, you can, the, 
you <laughs> and the chat does move around yeah if the um, chat was slid over a little bit then you could you could draw it out i don't know i just put it wherever the other thing yep. and this would this is probably the best solution yeah just shrink it's scrolling on now anyways it doesn't have to span the whole screen true just yep. put it above the camera the above chat? the Atari camp. Yes, yeah, sc like shrink it up a bit. It's scrolling anyways. Oh, the scroll. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that now. Now yeah. that it is scrolling. Yeah, that's a, that's smart. Then I then that camera's never being interfered with. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Uh, huh, quick test. Asteroids 2, River Raid 1. Hmm. What? Uh, oh, I see. That's how, they're, how they do their own work. Uh, interesting that in pinball, they do it the opposite way. They tell you which ball number you're on. Starting with one. Oh, well, what if you get an extra ball? True. Um, I think it just gives it Then it, it tells to you, you, oh, you're now on ball number four. <laughs> does it? I don't know. Or does it just say bonus? I don't know I anything about it. I think it says bonus it, yeah. ball. Like it does, you're, you only always get three, mm. and everything above that is a bonus ball. Or multi-ball if there's multiple on the screen. That's funny. That, that, the fact that they have done it that way, that you get three balls and that you, the first one is one and that they're numbered and that there's the bonus ball, yep. that has, lim that would limit how pinball games were play were designed. Yeah. Like the, you would have to go outside the norm in order to change that, you know, to be like, oh, we're going to have 12 <laughs> balls or whatever. And people go, whoa, and now it has to display 12. Pinball just saves the current ball. Yeah. So if you, like in mm. pinball... If you go, you pull back and it goes ooh, straight down the middle, that's still the first ball. Mm -hmm. It saves it. That's right. So you don't go to number two and then it goes and adds it on to the end. And now you have four balls. It's like, no, you get the first ball back again. Wait, you yeah. get the first ball back if it goes right down the tube? If you do terrible. Like, oh. it gives you like, uh, you suck pretty bad. So here's huh. another try. Yeah gives you the same ball again yeah, uh, yeah. that's that, that's a very interesting and very different way of counting lives yeah yeah it's kind of cool um so the new zookeeper art released al wrote here's the beautiful box for zookeeper let's take a look at the beautiful box for zookeeper and it is really really beautiful this is done by nathan strum um this is probably one of the most colorful boxes i have ever seen for a homebrew uh, now I've lost it. There we go. Let's try and go full screen with this if we can. It's not full screen. The screen capture. It, it unfull screened. Stop it. There you go. Take a look at that. Mischievous Marcel the monkey has kidnapped Zeke, the zookeeper's girlfriend, Zelda. There's a lot of alliteration, as per usual. It's always cheesy. <laughs> and unlocked all of the animals' cages. Can you help Zeke round up the animals and rescue Zelda? All of the action of the arcade car classic <laughs> comes home to the Atari 2600. That's so good. And uh, Zelda's punching a monkey, which she does not do in the game. This is misrepresentation. But no. That means you're doing it right good action yeah that's true <laughs> and look at all there's all the animals uh represented on the front uh with zeke with his net and they're bursting through the uh the brick wall it's perfect it's awesome and i love the colors on the uh font there just it looks very 80s gorgeous yes very very 80s which is very appropriate and atari vox enhanced and quad tari compatible so the Quadtari uh, games are adding up slowly, bit by bit. So when it's released, people will have games that they can play on it already. Pretty cool. Not, nothing worse than having a um, uh, an add-on yeah, to a console yeah. where there's like just one game. It's like, well, we're selling this whole add-on, this expensive add-on for just this one game. And we'll never release another game for it. But he's got a bunch, especially sports titles, that um, are in the works for that. So that looks awesome. How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Close two tabs, please. Signed. Signed? V signed? V signed. Uh, Nathan did the artwork? Yes, he did. It's so awesome. He said, uh, it, Al wrote, help Zeke, 
uh, a new Atari 2600 game developed by Champ Games helped Zeke the Zookeeper <laughs> round up the escaped animals while rescuing your girlfriend Zelda from Marcel the Mischievous Monkey. Nathan says that he doesn't know any redheads that would put up with being kidnapped by monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point there. Uh, artist Nathan Strum d has done a wonderful job capturing the frenetic nature of this classic arcade game. That's a, a seldom used word, frenetic. Usually people used uh, frantic. And mm. That's what I used when I typed it up. And then I look back at what Al posted and he's like, oh, and I said, oh, that's too close to what he wrote. <laughs> frantic and frenetic. Uh, coming soon to the Atari Age store. Um, so our developer spotlight on Daryl Spice Jr. is now one week away. So it's next Friday, uh, August 14th. So if you have any questions for Daryl about his games or anything else, make sure you post them in the forums in the Zero Page Homebrew Club uh, thread. Some people have already posted a bunch of great questions there. Um, so here's the, the link for those you're watching live, for those you're watching on YouTube. You'll have to type that out manually, <laughs> letter by letter. Um, or you can just look for it in the Atari Age forums. Um, so that's next Friday. Um, we're going to have Daryl Spice Jr. on here live. We're going to be playing all of his games. There's going to be some surprises if he got them done. So it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, oh, John needs to include a gender flipped option. Well, that would be difficult because you'd have to have all the character animations for Zelda, and she just sits at the top. She may have two animations, but you know Zeke has jumping and the net yeah, and you stuff need like to that. Do that. Yep. Get on it. Hurry up! You've <laughs> got days to do that. No, not enough. Not enough ROM left. But he did think about it briefly. Oh, that's very cool. Um, we have a new uh, Zero Page Homebrew T-shirt photo that came in. Uh, Miss Command sent in her photo. I love the photos. Uh, oh. Everything's squished down. It's a smaller screen. One second. Let's go full screen. Is it F? It is. There we go. She said, hey, hi, James. Here's the t-shirt photo. Love the design. She chose the cat. The obvious choice. The, obvious the ones choice. with the cats. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many comments I will get asking me what ZPH means. Um, <laughs> yeah, because it's just the letters. Yeah. Uh, you can see... The inspiration for my moniker in the picture. Her name's Miss Command. So yeah, I Command. actually saw that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it looks like <laughs> a perfect condition cabinet. Like it's amazing. Uh, I have a full size missile arcade, uh, missile command arcade cabinet in my home. One of my favorite arcade games. Anyway, keep up the great work. Highly enjoy your show, Miss Command. Um, and I love people sending in the photos because everybody seems to be picking completely different colors. And you get to see how it how 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 it looks with the different colors. Yeah, yeah. And so far they've been all really good, and I think that might be due to the rainbow because there's so many colors in the yeah, rainbow. Yeah, it fits. It, it it matches lots of them. Yeah, yeah. It works really well that way. Yeah. yeah. And I think Daryl Spice Jr. His uh, T-shirt that he chose, the blue was one of the ones that kind of pushed the envelope the most. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I can. First, I have to click on it. Now I can flip. There's his. And he chose that because he's a big fan of the Commodore 64. So he's like, oh, I'm going to try to pick uh, C64 default blue on blue colors. It still works. And it still works. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it works because it's got the outline yeah. for of the black on. They screwed up his, though. When they made it, though, they printed it backwards. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. That's probably why he has to stand in the mirror so that he can see it the right way around. Yeah. Yep. Um, but you know, it's weird. I mean, he should get his money back. It's, it is weird. <laughs> and the only way he can capture it properly is take a photo of it in the mirror. I don't know how he got this photo because it's backwards and he's taking it. It's weird. Yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody could figure that out. Yeah, it's it is it's crazy impossible town. to figure out. Crazy town. But uh, yeah, they're fun. Uh, the first pink background version. Yes, that is the first pink one that I have been sent a photo of. And it looks pretty awesome. Pretty much zero bytes left. Whenever people talk about their games, um, when they're making them, developing them, it's always funny. They always post, I only have four bytes left, guys, or I've used up absolutely every single byte. And I always wonder how they get to that point. Is like, do they... 
just keep adding things till they hit the limit. And if they want to add more, they have to get some. Or do they stop they... optimizing once they've got all the options right. in and it's like, well, I don't need to optimize anymore. I don't need I'm anything done. else. <laughs> I have no need for more bytes. Yeah. <laughs> Zero bytes left doesn't exist in my world. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. I, I think people just want to squeeze in as much as they can. And then they're like, I have nothing yeah, left. That, I just, that makes sense. Yeah. I cannot add any more. Yeah. Or like you go over the limit, then squeeze uh, until you get back to zero. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's always another bite. <laughs> Does the emulator play games that are bigger than 4K? Like, or does it just go, no, I'm not going to play this? Because I know you would have to fit it onto a proper 4K ROM if you're going to play it on the Atari itself for accessing the RAM, for accessing the ROM. Now, you probably, it probably, it wouldn't like Stello still wouldn't work. It's like it has nowhere to, it doesn't know how to access that, to say, oh, get that byte. It's like nope, can't get it. Um, so that's the end of the news, and we're gonna get to our first game, which is a maze put out in 2012 by I don't know who. I have no information on this game other than I have it. I do you know who made it? Yeah, do you know? Because that would help us. I mean, I didn't need to ask that. Like, <laughs> who are we? Who are we talking to here? Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna pipe up if they got something to pipe up about. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so there's two variations of this game. Here you go. Uh, one is a one-player, and one is a two-player. So we're going to play the one player while I read off some stuff, which is not very much because I know nothing about this game. Oh, figured it out right away. It's good there's no instructions, or it's good that it's easy enough to figure out without instructions because there is no instructions. Oh, and you lost. I'm not good. I'm not good at this. And I have to get up to reset. Oh, uh. it's because it's a video game. <laughs> um, well, I'm good at some video games. You can move left and right as well. Oh. If you want to. If it's necessary. I, uh, I'm not sure I approve. <laughs> you want to make it harder on yourself? I don't think you need to. Unless it speeds up in a bit. Um, it's a 4K game. I know that much. Oh. Um, <laughs> See, moving side to side is dangerous. Just screws it all up. I found it on the 2600 Hacks and Homebrew update pack number one that was released uh, December 17th, 2012. Um, I can't not find anything on a Google search, um, uh, or an Atari age search. And, I used uh, my foot. You used your foot to do it? <laughs> I used my foot to reset. It's a little far away. And also, you're dead already. <laughs> well, I wasn't paying attention. I died at least once. Oh my God. When... Yeah, it's definitely a rage <laughs> reset. Okay. Ready? Starts immediately. Wait. Yeah, it is Batari Basic 4. Almost. <laughs> almost for sure. Yeah. 11 rows of play field and gaps in between. The rows are as a giveaway. Uh, okay. What's your highest score? Nobody knows. Nobody's taking, keeping track. Don't have any scorekeepers in the, in the chat today. Oh, some of them are narrower. Some of them are wider. It's definitely using Playfield and doing the four four bit chunk, four pixel chunk across the screen. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh no, and I forgot that I can keep going. <laughs> yes, you do. This is definitely um, my best score though. And there's a one in ah. Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute, what the hell? Did I get extra lives? What is going on? I got extra lives oh, or something. You crashed the game. You 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 beat the matrix. Yeah. It's just counting up. Oh, now you can get lots of practice then. That's good. I can eat my salad. <laughs> <laughs> it's my lunch that Press I Press the finish. reset button, James. Oh, you're getting... You're never going to match my score. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> Too hacked. Hack the main frame. I'm a hacksaw. Uh, I've never found more than one update pack. Um, oh! Probably because... After, I don't know. After 2012, I don't know why people didn't uh, continue making uh, a ROM pack. 
Uh, 06502 says, this genre always gives me anxiety. <laughs> so it's like Flappy Bird, but with Venus de Milo. <laughs> no arms, no head. Yep. Um, kind of like Flappy Bird, except there's no gravity at all. It's and you can kinda, move in all four directions. I was thinking it was like uh, Wall Jump Ninja, but it's not. <laughs> there's walls. Because you can move more than I thought. I thought it was just up and down oh. the way I'm doing it. There's no jumping, but there are walls. I don't know if he's a ninja. Doesn't doesn't appear to be a ninja garb. But who's to say what ninja garb is? Because nobody's seen a ninja. Because they're that good. And if you have seen a ninja, they're not a real ninja because they're not very good. If you've seen right? a ninja, it's because you're a ninja. <laughs> That's right. The numbers of homebrews and hacks exploded. That's probably why nobody's kept up because it's massive. I know there's some people who download everything that's put out. I'm one of those people. But only since like three years. Um, probably the person with the one of the best collections of ROMs is Brian Mathern, Arena Foot who keeps the record of all the homebrews. So some of the score I deserve. <laughs> yeah, you're you are avoiding the walls. I'm avoiding them like uh like they're fire or lava. The walls are lava. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. the walls the walls they uh they heard me talking and they paid me. Mm, paid me I back can't even reset it. because it only checks for reset on death. You truly crashed it. See, yeah, you could go forward and back, but I don't have the skills to do that without running into the walls. <laughs> mm -hmm. I realize the way you build those skills is by doing it, uh, but I still haven't. Um, no excuses, just that's just how it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is a very simple game, and there's no sound. It's just... just a play field that's moving across and it's just checking for collision and there's a death screen and it does not check for reset while you play so I had to reboot the whole game so what was your score 10,000 <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah I don't think it speeds up I think it is just repeating oh like a pattern Did somebody notice a pattern Oh, that would make sense. I noticed a pattern. <laughs> when I was doing it, I was like, hmm, I yeah, have been here before. There's the short walls. There's like two short walls there. I mean, I didn't oh, study it. Are. I was just trying not to die. Yep, there's the short walls again. I don't know if I... I don't remember the yep. bit where there's three in a row on the angle, but I this, did feel like... This is it. It's a very angle. short pattern. Like this up and down, it repeats like again over and over and there it is again just about to go through it and down yeah so once you've mastered this um yeah <laughs> there's only a, like okay let's see one two three four five five walls to go through that's it oh uh, carl g says as it scrolls off the left it appears on the right does it exactly oh it does too no it doesn't no it doesn't yeah. No. Just did. No. Just did there. Watch those two that are about to scroll off. That right just there. Did. Oh, it did. What the hell? Is yeah. it not looking correctly? Did. Oh, okay. Did it. it doesn't even wait for the whole wall to come <laughs> off. Like, as the first bit of it comes so there's no decision being made. It's like... If this had come out the right time, they could have sold it in a three-pack with Nerds and Last Ninja. Okay, we're going to play the two-player version. Which is the same as this, I believe, except two player. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do it. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, I'm blue. I'm uh, the not blue. No! Oh, oh no! All right, one... sunk us both. How does one player win? You're That's one a... player. No, it's co-op. If one of us, it's, uh, we, somehow you weren't playing and I still caused us to die before you did. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> no, it's co-op. <laughs> this is just How harder. How can somebody win then? This is if it's co-op. Oh, I see. It says one player win. Okay. 
I I am wrong then. I, ah! I think it's not finished. <laughs> two so player. You win. killed us that time. Are you two player? I must be two player. Yeah. And it's very jarring when somebody dies because you're like, oh, I I died there. Because you're moving in a direction. Oh my god. And the score is just vestigial in this per version, I suppose. Oh yeah. There is a score. Oh, it's not even moving. Yeah. Somebody did something. Dr. Moo Cows is now following. Thank you, Dr. Moo Cows. Oh. Oh, 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 oh rage quit! One player wins. Yeah, it's backwards. Okay. So the person in port one is player two. Yeah. Figure that. Anyway. Next game. Yep, that was uh, a game I found. And just I don't know where it. they got it, where the person who put this compilation together got it from, but they did. What's next? I don't have uh, any guide to guide me. The next game is... <laughs> MMSBC2. And this is by Jason here. Santucci. It was Gemintronic. First posted January 15th, 2013. And it looks like this. It does. That's the title screen. It says MMSBC2. Press fire. I must do as I'm told. Oh. oh. It's a two player game. Uh, first posted January 15th, 2013. This build is from February 13th, 2013. I will save you, James. Save me. Size is 16K of 6. Other games, Catacombs of Chaos, Conjoin, Dead of Night, Laughing Boy, Rat Race, oh, RBG Glass, maybe not RBG this Glass time. 2. No, he's going to get you this time. Up Sorry. Plus, Treasure of Tarman, Twister Shark, Up a Creek, Walking Dead, and many others. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. The full title of this no, game... Oh, bang! 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 ...is called... Monster Management Security Bureau of Cincinnati 2. And there's an Atari on the screen. Uh, did we play Nerds of the Last Ninja already on the show? Ah! No, we did not. I don't think I have. Ah. I will have to seek those out. If you could message me with those names. PM me. Oh, hey, I shot that guy and he refused to die. Bastard. Uh, this is a showpiece for the Louisville Arcade Expo. Writer artist oh, Rick Henry oh, wanted something to draw crowds in. I got them both in one shot that time. For his Sorry, comic. were you talking about something important? Maybe depends on your perspective. <laughs> um, to draw crowds in for his comic manga work, Monster Management Security Bureau of Cincinnati. So this is based off a comic. Wait, do I run in? Do I die if hit buildings? Yes. Yes, you die if you hit buildings. Ah. Look out for the buildings. You don't die if you don't do anything, though. You just sit there. You stay in the game forever. Oh, no. We just get... Ah, the thing got oh, you for a bit. The video games convention is in March, so development and production needs to be done by mid-February. This is my only project with a hard deadline now. Features two-player cooperative gameplay. Two simultaneous laser shots of different colors. Uh, up to eight this enemies boss fight. simulated. And I'm dead. Parallax side-scrolling. Mm. I don't think it has parallax. Um, unique color for each individual object on the screen. Uh, this is a problem. Oh boy! Like when when you we respawn, it. it's cool that no no. Oh, we game died. over. Okay. Um, when that guy's there, he just Decimates like I appeared you. and died immediately. Like there's oh. no uh, that's a problem. There's no part. ROMs weren't available. They were only sold in boxes. Louisville Skyliner Cincinnati, as you're saying. Oh, I don't know. Um, unique colors. Health bars have unique instructions. This is a two-player cooperative game. The object is to rack up as many points as possible. So you've got 167, mm -hmm. which means both players surviving as long as possible. Reset will reset the game. Select will toggle between the three difficulties, normal, hard, and maniac. So you're playing on normal. Each player fires a button will launch a laser. So I'll... Um, I'll keep pressing fire while you play if you want. The game does not do it justice to the title screen. Oh, 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 your joystick fell out. Maybe that's why you're having a little trouble at the end. Don't know. I, I would, I would <laughs> tend to think that might have been it. <laughs> cool title screen. Yeah, not a bad title screen. Oh, are we playing? Um, I'm pressing the button just to give something. Oh my god, how did I miss those guys? <laughs> uh, and again! 
Uh, once the salvo has been launched, no additional lasers can be fired from your ship, so you have one bullet at a time. Uh, lasers will damage and pass through enemies. Oh, okay. Each player has a shield bar at the bottom left. Uh, bottom. Uh, if too much damage is taken from collisions with enemies or fire, then the player will be forced to land. Landing reduces the city's morale. <laughs> I would think so. If you landed your ship and crashed into the city, it, the morale would go down. It depends on, uh... On whether they're happy to see you or not. That's true. Top How much of their bacon part. you eat. <laughs> if morale drops to zero, the game is over. Certain periods during the game, a boss will appear shooting fireballs. Once the boss is defeated, a gameplay will resume at a higher level. Enemies. Space bunnies. Four mutant space bunnies will march forward in an uh, intent on invasion. Comets. Space debris and evil satellites will shoot forward seemingly intent on harshing your mellow. Uh-oh. Oh, is that the boss guy? No. A duo uh, fighters. A duo of space mutants press forward while tactically diving or retreating. Oh, there's the boss. Uh, space it's pickle. Like a giant space worm. Space pickle. The leader of the fleet uh, will strafe the players while occasionally attempting to ram them. Sorry, is it a space pickle? It's a space pickle. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's actually called a space pickle. Oh. That's appropriately it's, named. It's green. Yeah. I think we uh, uh, drove from the skies. We did. Aha! Victory! Uh, it, it launches fireballs and warps them around the screen when hits uh, when hit teleports to a new location. I got three things with one bullet! Um, special thanks to... In other news. CGD Gruff. Oh, me die. RT Kevin Moss 3. I supposed to for bug hunting. Steven A for his excellent work on Stella. Bogax for coding help. CPU is for having my back. Hey, big thanks to Atari Age in general. No way this would yeah. ever have a chance without you. Um, so he did a seven-hour coding marathon just before he uh, took it to the convention, I guess. Uh, he put the title screen in music. Um, obtained permission to use the Louisville Arcade Expo logo. Um, title screen and artwork was converted and retouched from Sometimes Ricky Henry's they don't art die. assets. Is that just because they're tougher? Or? I don't know. It can't be because your bullets don't come back quick enough. You wouldn't. You don't get a chance to shoot them <laughs> twice, you know? That's true. Um, so that must be some sort of... So that's all the uh -oh. instructions I have. Space so now is I back. can play. Get a... Get... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, be, be, be warned. Space Pickle is a cheater. Yeah. And also, if you run into buildings, I think you might die. So I'm pink. Darcy's green pink. I don't think I'm pink green. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm at the bottom. Yeah, you're in the city. You landed. Morale is low. <laughs> morale is low. Morale... The beatings will continue until morale uh, improves. That's right. Uh, you should get points for shooting between them. That was impressive. <laughs> I've done it several times. <laughs> you, should get, you should get bonus points. Oh, I'm back. Did you save me? Did you, uh, you you land, and morale goes down, but you don't die. Oh, okay. It just took a while for me to come back. Oh, I think we defeated Space Pickle. Now you're down? This, for the second time, we have defeated Space Pickle. Uh, oh, you're back now. I'm it back takes now. a bit. I had to park uh, the car. <laughs> oh, I'm dead again. That's interesting that you kind ah! of take a little rest for a little bit. Well, it's not a rest. It's a pit stop. Oh, and then you fill up. Yeah, you're repairing, right? Oh, that's that's really interesting. That's kind of cool. I uh, actually, it really is kind of it really I've, is cool. I've never seen a game. Usually, you come back right away, or the other player rescues you or something. Well, I think not it's... a rest. There's never a rest. <laughs> well, it's it's well pit stop. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's true. But I mean, you're, that's it's actively... a a rest and refitting. Arna. <laughs> That's what R and R means. It is a pretty crazy game. A lot of a lot of things flying around the screen. Um, hard to really tell. I'm just what's really going I'm, on. I, yeah. Or how you even die. Um, well, you die when that timer at the top runs out, I believe. Okay. And you want both. Um, if you want everybody to stay alive as long as possible because your score, obviously. Yeah. You want to max The longer it you're up. The more your score... But that... Oh! All of a sudden it went from that much to dead. That's a crazy game over. Uh, interesting. Is there audio? There's a little bit of audio. Louisville has gone downhill since I last visited, apparently. <laughs> uh, 
Last Ninja gameplay, Nerds gameplay. Okay. Oh, if you guys think it's good to show on the show, I will check those sh uh, games out if somebody reminds me. Um, I don't know if there's much more to show about this game. I hate pickles in real life, so I'm bored with shooting space pickle. How do you feel about pickles, Darcy? <laughs> uh, I kind of like them. Yeah. The tartness is cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're good. I, I can like them say for sure I like pickles. I like them when they're crunchy. Not when they're like fl flimsy and soggy. You don't soggy even need to say that. <laughs> That's not given. even... Yeah, nobody Well, then likes... why do restaurants serve the floppy, soggy pickles then? Because uh, they do not care about you. That is for sure. Because... Oh, you mean the sliced ones? Uh, wedges. Wedges. I yeah. get wedges in about half the time or more. They're very bendy. And you bite into them and yeah. they're just like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm... You don't get the crunch. Where are yeah. they getting these pickles from? I think it's the quartering them. I think the wedging mm. wedging them allows them to... If you wedge them ahead of time, yeah. I think that... Because some of the crunch comes from the circle. The, cr the structure, yeah. Mm -hmm. The outside skin being Yeah, that's the, where the crunch comes from. The inside is always kind of soft. Uh, yeah, I, I think it probably does uh, wreck the uh, structural integrity of it. Just sent you a pickles. P oh, can you allow that message? For some reason, I have no idea why it's. Oh, it's PMs or something. You said something bad, ground trooper, I guess. Pe sent Pickle. you some PMs in Discord. Awesome with the eBay link. So I'm not gonna buy the games, just to see if they're good on the show, unless they're super awesome, then I will buy them. But I'll check them out. Thank you very much, ground trooper. Uh, pickles should be crisp and refrigerated. End of story. Um, this next game, Trash Mania, by jo Jonathan Bont, Animan. It's from August 5th, 2009. Um, go for it. Trash Mania? Trash Mania, not Remix. Trash Mania, because we'll be playing Trash Mania Remix next. And they're very... Second one. They're very different games, so that's why. So, it says Trash Mania. On oh. the bottom. Oh, he's doing I a dance. I control my dude. He's doing I control my dude. Even dance. when I'm not playing yet. Uh, it's a 4K game. <laughs> Other games he's made. Catch a what? coin. He's going places. Cape. He Ooh. is. He's slightly moving. <laughs> he's doing a little little jig. No, what I mean is it's not just that he's moving or looking around, but he's sometimes he goes, look, he's changed position. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. He's moving to the right a little bit. Pickles to Trash Mania at the transition road itself. <laughs> oh, the poll's closed. Oh, we'll check that out after this one. Okay, can you press a button? Does it start? It does start. Or maybe it was always started? No, it was not no, always started. Because it has parts now. Oh! So, oh. it says, Animan says, It's done! Trash Man, the story. The local oh. girl... The local garbage plant has been shut down after a series of unintentionally oh. hilarious lawsuits. Ah. I love game over screens where you can do things on them. <laughs> can you start again? No. no. You would prefer it if you could also start it. Ah, there we go. Uh, the local garbage plant has been shut down after a series of unintentionally hilarious lawsuits. Uh, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Um... Get the garbage, bring it back. I did that. Yep. Get the next garbage, bring it back. Oh, I see. There you go. It's just, I was expecting to learn that I'd succeeded. You gotta learn on the job. Oh! Uh, it's game over! <laughs> it's game over, man! It's game over, man. Closing in. Six meters. Five meters. It's inside the room! Uh, the sum it, it seems up. like you don't have. It seems. Look, are we having partial lives? It seems like little, I only lost most of a heart that time. There's a bit of a dot there. Oh. Oh, what? It touched you, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. All right, here we go. We're gonna. We're now we're not dying this time. No, we. Oh, too late. <laughs> Sorry. I died, even uh, though I said stop, I wouldn't. Stop, you're dying. I hate getting up and resetting. I know. Uh, but I 
I stop I hitting feel that as red though, thing. I feel as though the red thing. I need to. Oh stop. my god. <laughs> it's it's kind of dickish. Like it it it's like <laughs> comes out of nowhere. See, I'm here, and the arrow stayed, and now it's gone. Because you don't need to go that way anymore. I mean, you have to go back. But I was already here. Oh, so what? I touched this. Yeah. Yeah. You have to drop off the trash. But I've. I've Whoa! <laughs> See? Like, what was I supposed to do there? I don't know. I don't know. Anticipate it. Anticipate that the red thing could be there. Okay, you're supposed to go get the next piece of trash. Yeah, I know, but I'm practicing. Okay. Do we need a new poll for the number of hearts left? Oh, no. Because it has... Yes, yeah, see, this is a game where it said you had a heart. But when that heart disappeared, it was game over. So that is the, your active life. The yes. heart on the screen. So this is an example of... And this is an example where I wasn't confused. <laughs> In this type of game... Yeah. You it, okay, here's the difference. Like... Yeah, okay, so th this actually this actually is correct the way they did it because it's not lives. This right. is health. That right. was health. That's I didn't health. die. That's true. I didn't die. I didn't go away. When I you, just lost health. When you touched it, you lost your That's last right. health. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So this, this kind of makes sense. <clears throat> I was watching a YouTube to get up to speed and a helpful hint would be the enemy follows the same pattern. What I mean... Uh, I don't know what that's referring to. Do I see a kitty? Yes, there was a kitty. That's an Atari cat. His name's actually Atari. He chose that name. Um, to sum like, up the... what the hell? Uh, need to train the cats. To sum it up, the, the workers were eating the garbage to help cut down on the trash. So you go out and take care of yourself. You are trash man. How to play. This may help you. The controls are your typical run and jump game. Left and right moves, fire jumps. Your goal is to collect all nine trash cans. And your goal is to see how many times James will <laughs> click the reset button before his head explodes. Has anybody been counting? How many trash cans? You've only got one. <laughs> no, how many times you've had to press reset. Oh, too many. Because when your head explodes, we're going to want to know. See? Like, what the? Yeah, I jumped slightly early. I know. Zush. <laughs> you would never survive the underground scorpions in Pitfall. <laughs> no, never. I wouldn't. There's... <laughs> oh, my God. Um... You know, I... I One thing I don't like is yeah. what happens when you hit the thing. I'd rather die... When I hit the thing. Like instantly? Yes. Rather than the slight Rather than delay. it grabs you and touches you and <laughs> like pokes your naughty bits without your permission. And then you have to keep going. I don't like it. The I enemies, don't like it. The enemy is always in the same spot in each screen. Yes. So if the red is going off the screen, it'll appear on the other side of the screen. Even if you transition over to the next screen. Okay. So that's a little hint. Little hint. See? the mm -hmm. same spot so you can actually follow that one but, but i can still can't it. jump in it so you lost your trash can you have to get it again no jumping is is essential there's one can per screen you can only ha ah! hold, hold on to one can at a time oh see there i was screwed you were screwed there but you could j does the jump carry over from screen to screen we'll try that next Press the reset button, my man. Oh, so the lesson is do not go off the screen. Yes, you can. There you go. Oh, you got it now. Um, uh, also, there is a timer. Oh, okay. It may give you a few minutes, but you'll need that long to complete the game. Squ oh, squ see? The mysterious... Ah! <laughs> it like stalked me dead. Love. No love for trash. 16K garbage today. I we did play trash. We played trash on the show a long time ago. A long time ago. And he hasn't updated it since we played it, I don't think so. Okay, you're going to be playing. You're going to be not playing. I'm going to be playing next. The mysterious litter is the decision. guy who is trying to stop you from achieving your goal. If he touches you, the mysterious litter. That's the name of the red thing is the mysterious litter. That's very funny. Yeah, I guy. think I should be the one doing the violence to the mysterious litter. Yep. Okay. So you'll be reading from there onward. After the equal signs. 
See how many trash. Animan. What oh, is that? Just... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Here is probably the final release. However, I was able to trim some of the code down, so I have 210 bytes left. I was considering adding a title screen song, but I could never get it to sound the way I wanted it to. So if anyone wants to try their hand at adding music to this, go ahead. It'll be nice and post the source. It'll Changes. be nice and post the source. It'll be nice and post the source. Because he needs to incorporate it into his game. Yeah. So if he doesn't have source. Did I get a piece of trash? No. Okay. Trash can number three. Nobody cares. It's at a bridge. I care. <laughs> third of the way done i don't know why there's oh my god i don't know why there's like a bit of a heart i think that's a an error uh, yeah i think it's an error i thought maybe it was uh fractional uh fractional lines yo 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 x bridge golden bridge golden gate bridge trees, trees foresty forests uh the shopping center the garbage land Garbage land. It's a terrible amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> lots, of sea <coughs> lots of seagulls. Changes. Instead of showing Trash Mania the whole time, it is now only used at the beginning. Instead, the score bars used to display Ooh, the number of flies left because uh, none of you no. can keep track of a number between zero and three. <laughs> you got a lot of flack for that statement. <laughs> what, because it's dumb? <laughs> Because he was chastising people for, for not, not keeping counting. not keeping score in their minds of how many lives they have left, which <laughs> pretty funny. Which you know is a justified. Uh, he should get chastisement for that. So yeah. I'm not going to show you how many lives you have left. Keep keep yeah. track of it in your mind. It's silly. It's silly to think that people <laughs> want would, to that. let alone should. Yeah. Yeah. That's really funny. When moving left. And then you stop. The trash man does not look back to the right. He now faces the direction he was moving last. Looks a lot better. Left difficulty... Okay, these are still changes. Left difficulty switch chooses either an enemy that doesn't change position based on an area or changes position every time you go to a new screen. Gave the option because some people preferred one enemy movement over another. Oh, I don't understand the enemy movement. So, uh... You guys explained to me that it's at the same spot no matter which screen you go on. And what it's saying is that you can have it be like that, or you can have it be... Like uh, Change position every time. Oh, okay. Oh, like when you go on a screen. Well, that'd be harder, wouldn't it? Because you won't know where it is. Maybe it'll be easier because it'll never oh, be... Oh, my God. ...there. Yes. So, wait a second. If I go off... Yeah. See, he was mocking me for dying... And he, although he's clearly doing better than me, not much. He's also dying like I died. Ah. Uh. Sometimes I talk to the chat window instead of the camera, and by sometimes I mean I'm usually talking to the chat window <laughs> instead of the camera. Which? Eh, yeah. It's the way it is sometimes. I'm a very slow learner of certain things. So if he, he's looking down there, he's actually. We need a teleprompter you. with the chat in it. Those are not cheap. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. That that sounds like a James problem. I would love one of those. That would be so awesome to have to chat at the camera. Oh my god. Yeah. We just what we'll, we'll just we'll make our own. We'll put the camera. We'll cut a hole in your screen, and we'll put the camera there. Um, have you seen a teleprompter and how they work? I know? actually have. Yeah, it's the forty-five thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a reflection. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, and you it, can make them on your own, but they're generally garbage if you make your own challenge accepted <laughs> uh oh, so not doing well under the, under the category of changes still need some play testing but i think i got most of the bugs ironed out hopefully mm. so enjoy the maybe final release seems pretty bug free okay. i like how consistent he was with uh, the maybe in regard to the brackets the the qualification <laughs> in brackets before final release that's what i would have done so I approve. Ah! Uh, anyone else to lose video? Nope. Everything's all good. Restart your browser. <laughs> this is not easy. Oh my god! Sorry. Watch out! There's a pixel. Hi. 
Come on, he is move more important than trash. Move along a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good kitty. Oh, trash. Mania. Oh, oh my god. I hit it right away. <laughs> so annoying. Did anyone else lose video? Nobody else said that. <laughs> Has anybody else not lost video? <laughs> Hi. I hear a lot of screaming now. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> yes. It's a challenging game okay, and it really so shouldn't be. Anyone else lose video? On the fur, yes. Thrust, me too. Oh. Dan, ABC, yes. Been losing video. Carl G, me too. Oh, what the hell? Uh, don't need to tell... It, like, restarted the streaming? It should be back. I don't know what's going on. So... Don't need to tell... Teleprompter. Can't you make one with a cloth hood to block the light, a glass plate, and a tablet? Um, I think it's probably pretty easy. <sighs> Tanya's going to run upstairs and whip one together for us. Oh, <laughs> just... <laughs> you stopped the scroll, by the way. But who did what? The chat. Oh, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if there's people can see the, the show or Audio not. Audio 2, Lost Feed. Yep, back to that Atari Award screen. Trash Mania is too many bites for the internet. <laughs> uh oh There they are. Oh, no, we're, we're back. back. We are back. Did we miss much? Blame mm -hmm. the cats. Not yet. Video down for me if Blame. we raise resets. <laughs> Blame the cats. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a little bit better, but I'm I was very life. amusing while you were away. I said some very funny things. You were all would have been laughing. You have to check it on the YouTube archives. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's record of the hilarity. Oh my God, I died again. <laughs> that is about as far as I've gone. Oh. How come this game is so frustratingly hard? Oh, and they've noted simple. that they can hear Tanya. Uh-oh. Yeah, screaming from the side. <laughs> yep. I'm petting a cat right now. Petting a cat. There are a lot of screaming upstairs while I'm trying to work, so. <laughs> Oops. Well, yeah, it's, it's very a, distracting. It's a seemingly simple game, yet challenging at the same time. For some reason, all you do is jump over a moving dot. And collect trash cans. And the trash cans collect themselves pretty much. So, and I am determined to beat it because it's ridiculous that I can't. It's not getting harder. You just jump more things. <laughs> Being cautious. There we go. Oh, they go back. Yeah, they, they turn around. Otherwise, it'd be easy to just follow the red dot all the so way they, back. So they turn around when you grab the garbage can. Uh, yeah. So they're always against you. Is it like a always maze? Against you. Are you in a maze? There's yes. no maze. It's, awesome. it's a maze. <laughs> it's not There's a maze. a maze of... But so far, we've only done the straight line highway part gotcha. of it. <laughs> it's a maze on rails? It's a maze. It's a maze on rails. <laughs> yeah. No, a maze did have... Well, it didn't have a maze, but it did have walls and corridors like a maze <laughs> except the mazy part i mean obviously someone <laughs> had not finished it they were just <laughs> it's a lazy maze yeah, yeah. The they'd made the first part of the maze like oh, oh, oh my thing. first death first heart the debate at the top of the show the poll mm -hmm. was about lives oh and oh windmills um and whether the number that you see that says lives left should um should how, go to zero should go to zero or not yeah no it should not go to zero should not, so the one indicates the the, the life you have the life you have well yeah. that is not how that's not what most people that's, think you're in the minority <laughs> oh, you mean, you oh mean my god remaining. oh I see. yeah remaining yeah it's like no <laughs> uh, i've been talking See, here's my one thing. more. One here's, more. Here's, one more. Has, has anyone brought Carl up? Carl G says, "Don't lose heart." Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, here's the but thing. then you did. I feel differently when there's a health bar. Well, that's different. That's life. yeah. We we actually got to that. Yeah. That is because that isn't the same thing. No. It is a health. It's health, right? Like that is a zero means you're dead. Oh, whereas, rage reset. Yeah. Whereas rage lives reset. are lives. Lives means that you died and you have another chance. Because modern games tend to have you have the health bar of your current life yeah. and then your additional lives but when there's no health bar then it's a little bit obscure whether your your 
Like, you can't see that you are in your current life if there's no hearts. In the so, yeah, I, I kind of get that. I get that. Usually, I'm, I'm looking for there to be a health bar, and that is your current life. It's almost like that's one heart, and then you have three more hearts. Yeah, and in lots so, of games, you have no cheap. health. In lots of games, you have no health bar. No, uh, yeah, and that's Because you get touched and you die. Yeah, yeah, especially older games. Newer games, you almost always, you know, if you a more elaborate game, you almost always have a health bar. Oh. Oh, I'm going to jump when I come back to the first screen. Always now. Well, I, I don't know if that's oh. a good idea because uh, it might be in the spot where you jumped and therefore you're screwed. That's very true. You need to keep track of where the red thing is. That's what you need to do. When I exit the screen? Yeah. yeah. I should never leave it on a deadly position. doesn't matter. I'm going to die. Oh, my God. <laughs> there should be a Tanya intercom. <laughs> <laughs> I want I have a, I have a rotary phone at home and I want to set up uh, a, a phone network at home to, mm. but I would only have my wife to call <laughs> well we have an intercom system we do and we use it yeah in the house yeah, yeah. it's right here all the phones all I'm not looking for function I am looking for form <laughs> I don't care about function. Like, I don't need function. I don't need an intercom. Don't phones just do that? Like, if you set up a bunch of phones? No, you need a network to... They to... don't just ring? Like, no. you can't... Like They might connect to each other, and you might be able to mm -hmm. fake it... But I, I think I don't think I don't think you can. They need no, power. I don't think so. They need power. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the so. power is probably there, right. uh, even if you don't have Those service. Those dudes are Bluetooth, so yeah. it's, it's a very different it's system. Different system. Yeah. But you can get, you can get the th same thing that they get. You know, when you go to like when there's an office and they have internal lines mm -hmm. and external, you can get one of those things. They're not that expensive, mm -hmm. and then you can set it up in your house. And if all you're looking for is two points, it's pretty easy. You connect, you connect the box to one phone and then the the box to the house network and then you can plug in your phone anywhere else in the house if you only want two mm. otherwise you have to wire them because the way that they're set up in most houses is that each phone plug is sort of chained from another one like they don't all go back to Forget a central it. point done done with this game done the pbx that's the one pbx yeah, yeah pbx i was looking it up i was i was I was thinking of making like a console, you know, like the um, the Apollo command center with the, yeah. you know, they had the monitors and the keyboards and it was, I was thinking of building one of those things and I wanted to have a phone on it. And so I was like, <laughs> okay, how do I do this? Or PBX, okay. Anyway, so I have that in mind. Mm. I'm doing a mini version for my boat. The Bouncy Castle yep. is my science vessel. It is a long mm. 12 and a half foot inflatable boat <laughs> 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 and i'm going to make a little console with a usb monitor uh because I, my laptop i'm afraid it's a little boat <laughs> i talk about it as though it is a vessel but it is not what you might usually call a vessel uh and it, it, splashes are are relevant so i don't really want to risk my laptop so i'm going to make this thing and the laptop will be hidden away safely have you talked about your rov systems here at all probably i have an rov it goes underwater and see stuff that's underwater mm -hmm. i have videos about it if you want to see them they are very long and i occasionally speak <laughs> <laughs> and there's occasionally things to see that is not just uh rocks Dirt. and uh, yeah. sea cucumbers yeah. and seaweed yeah. okay yeah. save save the story for the next playing session <laughs> we're in between games oh, right now. oh okay yes um so <laughs> the the same person did a sequel on the Atari 2600 called Tra Trash Mania Remix. Um, and after he did these two games, uh, he released Trash Mania After Dark for the Ouya. Do you remember the Ouya? Mm -mm. It's a little box, had controllers, Android based, hooked up to your TV. Um, it was going to be the next big thing, and it could have been if it wasn't terribly underpowered. Um, <laughs> Because it could have played all the Android games mm. hooked up to your TV. That would have been incredible. But they messed up and it just was not, it wasn't right. It wasn't done very well. Um, but anyway, this same person actually developed a game for the Ouya. Hmm. Um, so we're going to take a look at, quickly at... Ouya, right? Oh, is that is yeah. that what that was all about? It is. Okay. Kind of. Oops. Oh, it gives you a little shot of the Ouya. 
Uh, no, don't start the video. They can't see it yet. Here we go. We uh, trash mania after dark trailer. Oh. You know, audio. taking yeah. a trash out isn't easy, especially after I started playing Trash Mania After Dark. Seems simple, right? Just find trash cans and take them to the dumpster. But there's this thing that keeps chasing me. I don't know why. He's just after me. Breathing down my neck. What was that? What was that? That was nothing. Trash Mania After Dark. Watch out. You're not alone. <laughs> so there you go it's nighttime all you have to do is collect trash cans and take them to the dumpster but watch out you're not alone so that's that's his ouya game and um so very similar to what we just kind of played except uh his was in the dark it's definitely the same <laughs> world yeah it's yeah. same premise yeah. yeah same world um i saw some similarity in those teeth things and the the trash thing <laughs> Um, and he was also looks like he was developing a game called Trash Mania Trilogy for the Wii U as well, mm. but it never came out. Um, and there's a YouTube video of that too. Very, very short, I think, this one. Uh, oh no, this one's a long one where he shows himself playing. <laughs> Looks like it's pretty much what he showed. And there's the... Oh, okay. There's the Atari version, but it's like all strung together rather than flipping screens. And that's the game we're about to play. That one right there. So it looks like it takes his two Atari games, plus the one we just saw from at the, in the Uya, and kind of puts them all together. Somehow. Ooh, I should not have this music on. Oops. God damn it. Anyway, you saw some of it. Um, <laughs> there you go. And you this is the yourself. only time you will have seen it because it will be, well, muted. The Ouya is uh... named after the sound of my many crushing defeats in Street Fighter 2. I've re re refused to believe otherwise. Ooh, yeah. No, it's... That's... Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Because it sounds like he, he's defeating other people? So you go, Ooh, yeah. Uh... Maybe. Crushing defeat sounds like you got defeated, though. Um, so let's take a look at his second game, Trash Mania, Mania Remix. Let's start it's by from... pushing the controller thingy in. Yes, I need to fix that. Um, this is 2011 12. he started this, and oh. this builds from 2012. Jonathan Vaughn's 2012. Oh, might need to restart that because nobody saw that. Oh. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Let's try that again. And I need to put the new... Ah! Ah! There you go. Oh, did it not Just work? Just in time. No, oh, okay. I didn't switch yet. Oh! So he's got some music. Trash Mania Remix 2012. You can get this in the Atari Age forums, just like the last one. Um... So I'm going to play now. Uh, that was me saying I was doing something. I don't know if you but want to. listening to, to just, see if I had permission. <laughs> let me just uh, give you a bit of instructions. This one may not what? be as straightforward. No way. Okay. So you can pick which track you want. Or Where just track effects. one? I guess we're going crazy. Get that garbage. I'm going to bring it here. And then I'm whoa, being chased. Ho ho, suckers. No, <laughs> not going to catch me. This is way easier than the other one. I can get several garbages. I got to say, the new monster is not as red as the previous one was. No. It's far less red. Very less red. He's like purple, purple, yellow. We got Easter colors. He's very many colors, none of which is red. Um, so you're Joe the Trash Man. Uh oh. Um, there are sentient glow sticks, and those are those yellow things going back and forth. Oh, something happened to slow me down sometimes. Is that just because I have the garbage? Yeah, because you picked no. up two garbages. Oh. You can pick up all three, but you'd be too slow. Oh, the doors open and close. Yeah. Oh, you went right into the killer stalker trash. Avoid at all costs. If he the touches only... you once, it's game over. He touch... He gets faster each level. 
I got 434. Yeah, totally different game. Funky beat. Good. Can you dance to it, though? Um, the dumpster is green. I guess that's at the bottom. When you collect at least one trash can, it appears at the bottom. Touch it to drop off your collected trash cans. Oh, oh, there goes the yellow. Wasn't moving at first. Yeah, I was taking full advantage. Oh, yeah. Um, Hologram Joe, oh! which we have not seen yet. Press the fire button, will drop Hologram <laughs> Joe. Will it attract? That's how I do it. Sometimes I don't. Attract the killer stalker trash until he touches it. You get what? <laughs> get one each time you reach the dumpster. So you do get, uh, if you press the button, you get a holographic Joe. You should have got all three. I thought about that, and then I thought, oh, but... Uh, getting greedy. Might not. I died last time when I was getting cheeky. Like a monkey. So if you press the button, you're not listening. No, I'm not. You get a holographic Joe, which will distract that dude. And you get one each time you go to the dumpster. Oh, as soon as he gets it, then he goes after you. Um, a closed door. In later levels, the houses will, will periodically close their doors, <laughs> and you can't collect their trash cans. Scoring. When you reach the dumpster, you're rewarded points for two things. Trash can points. I have discovered a bug. Distance from the killer stalker trash. So the further away you are from that dude, the more points you get. Oh. So if you let him come to the top and then head down, you get more points. Oh. Um, one trash can, 20 points. Two, ah! tra two trash cans, 40 points. Three trash cans, 80 points. I don't know if it's worth the 80, but... Nice. Um, title screen, black and white switch, ah! color, 2600 no, randomly no! generates a title screen music, black and white, and user also it, title it has uh, the sound of uh, a man screaming. Oh no! Oh, no! no! Help me! Ah, oh, I've been uh, captured! Uh, oh, he's taking you away. I got cocky. So right now it's on color, <laughs> so it randomly generates a title screen music. That's cool. Okay, your turn. Okay. Uh, left difficulty switch. You can turn off the decreasing score. Um, oh, sorry, I, the decreasing score. Yeah, when you're playing, if yeah. you notice, your score was going down as you were collecting it, and you can turn that off. So you can't just sit around and do nothing. Oh, your score I will see. just keep going down. I got down. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the right difficulty switch, player two controls the enemies. Oh, oh I don't really like cool. that. Uh, Which, all the enemies, or just the one enemy? The one that you can foil by pressing the button. Press fire to move the glow <laughs> stick. Press a joystick to move the killer stalker trash. So Can you use you can the yellow move. sweepers to help you get out of where you want? I think so. I did, I did, they didn't seem to damage me. It seems to be like, you're. it's a binary system. You're alive it or you're dead. You? And I got pushed around by the uh, thingers. Let me try it without the so I had 592. Try, just try and I'm gonna get that. all three of them. Yeah. Boom! It was a 99 good idea. points right off the bat. Oh my god, it's still happening. I can still collect them. They didn't move till halfway through me collecting the second round of trash. Is that guy always on the same plane? Um, I noticed that you don't necessarily leave the trash behind. Um, sometimes you're running around without trash. Sometimes you're running around with trash. Oh, I see. It's not the trash. It's your special button. Have you used your special Trixie? Oh, you leave trick? it. Oh, yeah. so that's not the trash. Okay. So I'm going to go like that. And he has to go get that. Give me lots of time. Oh, you. Oh, God. He got it right away. Yeah. Still slow. He has to be a little bit far away from it, I guess. Oh, oh I like the transition when it went to the next level. That was cool. What happened? It, like, did a screen swipe. Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Oh, you're actually faster than him with all three trash cans. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I'm going to go for two this time. Oh, oh they do push you. <laughs> they yeah, do they, push you. They push you. So you they don't use, kill you. Yeah. They could use... You could use them to your advantage, like yeah. a little uh, little speedboat. Oh, now you're Didn't dead. Help me. Oh, you only get one life? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, just one life. Right, they just seem to push. Okay, so you're going to be the enemies now. Enemies or enemy? 
Uh, it says the button lets you control something else. The button uh, moves the glow sticks, and just the joystick moves the killer soccer trash. All right. Track number three. you are because that guy's not making a beeline for me anymore i wonder if this still works ah you're automatically attracted to it were you were you attracted to it let's see oh you are <laughs> you can't help it i just like that thing so much <laughs> take a look at that Mm -hmm. Take a look at that over there. You like yeah. that? No, this, this, it's silly. <laughs> it's silly playing the bad guy. <laughs> Is it? You move so much faster that it's like... I'd have to, I would have to think about it ahead of time and go, okay, how am I going to corner him? Like, I don't have a plan to corner you. And I don't think... I don't think any plan would work unless you made, like, errors. Why, is, why aren't the yellow things going across? What yellow things? Because I like pressed the button for him to do it. Oh, oh, they stop. Oh, so you can push me when you feel like it. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. Well, this is very easy if you're not doing anything, because nothing happens on the screen. Hey! That's a that's pretty cool that you can control two different enemies. You're not as hard as the computer. Well, no, of course not. The computer uh, you go over there. never sleeps. <laughs> also, I'm way harder than the computer because I'm actually trying to kill you and the computer's just flailing. <laughs> Making a game from manual labor. It has a cross dock <laughs> vibe to it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's all about manual labor. You, you go look at that. You check that out. Oh, level three. Ooh, I'm actually, it felt like I was moving faster. Ah! Ah! No, you check that out. Ah, that didn't work at all. No, oh, you're the same exact speed, the speed as me. No. <laughs> okay, we're switching. bonus round to begin with like a practice round i guess yeah. one and a half practice rounds in fact no i am attracted to the garbage you are putting down got to go. i'm gonna stay down here and patrol this little no <laughs> that doesn't work no so you have to kind of be somewhere in between Oh my god, you're so much faster. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to use the paddles. Um, and I was trying to... I was positioning myself in a spot where you had to... Um, where the paddle might sweep you into my uh, into my range. Mm. Oh, I think the uh, thingies take your garbage cans. Uh... Things going back and forth? Yeah. No. no, no. Okay. I I believe I picked up all three, and then, or I picked. I, at some point, I found myself at the bottom, having picked up a garbage can. At some point. Yeah. And then, it was like, no, I didn't have one. There was no garbage can to put it in. No green uh, dumpster. Yes! That's really what you have to do. Yeah. Is sweep. Sweep the opponent but the, into But it. the thing is, like, I just got slack. Like, <laughs> right. I... I didn't have to go into that position. Mm, okay. I'm not saying... Like, of course, there has to be... A, what, what, is, is that, what I'm saying is that, like, it's like, you can't win. Yeah. I have to fuck up. 
Yes. Screw up. I have to screw up. Yeah. And I have to screw up. So I have to screw slower. up a lot. Yeah, I'm I so could, much You could slower. just go grab <laughs> one garbage can at a time. And be really fast. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And the only limiting factor would be if that gets you less score. And then you would be motivated to gra- try and grab more of them. Yeah. And be tricky that way. Like you would only be able to go up a slight amount. Dodging deadly customers to stock shelves on time. St- Shelf Stalker 2600. Yep. I think that would be very, very cool. Okay. Play again. And I want to try and sweep you into me. I'm going to try that. That strategy that's what you did last time after you got uh, me i didn't really i wasn't really i was i was trying to emulate the computer that time by just heading straight for you at all times but somehow it wasn't as good as oh you're tricksy I told you my tactic. <laughs> but uh, I told you my tactic. My tactic was that. Ah, that was my tactic. Gotcha. That was literally my was tactic. It? I told oh, you that that's okay. what I was doing. <laughs> we talked about it. Really? <laughs> Am I wrong? Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. You did. You did mention it briefly. I ignored you. I think. <laughs> no. I don't know. Sometimes I think I talk about things. I'm a terrible communicator. <laughs> Sometimes I think that I'm doing things, but I am not. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because I was, I was playing and I wasn't uh, paying attention. Oh, now there's two. So if I stay, mm, mm. It's, it's it's still hard. It's surprisingly, uh, it's surprisingly not much better with two. It's almost like you playing, like me playing, is the game. Because this is a hard game. <laughs> like, like if I was playing this and the AI was being you, this would be the game. It's bloody hard. Oh yeah, you're playing the game. Yeah, I'm playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not you. Ah, it's so, I just have so to go around. hard. Oh, almost. I almost got you. I actually, I'm not sure how you didn't get me. I know. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah, this game's way too in favor of the actual person playing, especially on two-player. Unless, unless there's something like we're missing on how to play more effectively, because the computer is a better player. Oh, 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 you're in trouble? No, you're not. You already got your garbage. No, you don't have your garbage. Oh, I could have got you there. Oh no! You got it. I can't go all the way to the bottom. Oh. That's interesting. Not that I really need to. You so do. you're safe at the bottom. Ah, yeah. So if you head, if you make a beeline right for the bottom, yeah. at, like you go down the right hand side, you're safe. So there is a safe zone. <laughs> you saved me that time. I did accidentally save you, pushed you out of the way. I think you're getting faster. Uh, yes, I am actually now quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're safe down there. I can't even touch you. Yeah. The things going across the screen are very fast, so I may try that. Yes, finally. Oh, my God. So I with... think I could have gotten away from you there if I'd kept going to the corner. So with these two and trash, there are three garbage-related homebrews. <laughs> <laughs> I love the game over scrolling up. Yeah, that's a really nice little touch. Okay, we have investigated that game. We have. To its fullest extent, I believe. It was pretty fun. It's It's got a lot of good things going on with it. I think it's a little too easy for the player, though, against the second player. Yeah, but yeah. it was fun finding that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're going to move on to our last game of the day, Kabobber. Um... We can just start this one up. One second. Oh, actually, let's take a look at the poll. Where'd the poll go? What the hell? Where's the poll? 
Anybody see it? Oh no. I think it was, I did see the end, but somehow it disappeared. So you'll it see like, it on the video? Yeah, it's like, it was like 80 something percent, 83 oh. percent for option one, which I think that's the one I, what I was suspect, it? No, that was, I suspect some of the option twos, because we hadn't discussed it to that point. I hadn't, in, didn't have it quite in my head exactly what we were talking about. Yeah. Some of the uh, button twos might have been thinking of the health bar thing too. They could have been, Cause, because we didn't think of that at the Because that the is time. the right way to do it. Option two oh, yeah. is the correct way to do it if it's a health bar. Oh, yeah, 100%. And not lives, yeah. You can't survive without it's insane. health. The, it's insane to do, <laughs> oh, there's still, it you wouldn't make no any sense left. that Keep way. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. No, you have to have yeah. some health left. Yeah. Okay, load up, Kebabber. Now, this is an Activision game that was never released. It was made in 1983 or set to release in 1983. Nope, you're in the wrong section. Yeah, the joystick had some fun. It was like, I'm going to uh, play a game where I keep going. Uh, this is a prototype that was discovered and put out in 2000. Um, it says Activision on it. It does. It's a Copyright real... 1983. It is. It's a real game. Um, and it, But it did actually appear on the 2002 Activision and uh, uh -oh. Anthology. Uh-oh. And then people should see it. There you go. Uh, I'll give you a quick quick rundown. If they have their mouth open, that's bad. If they have their mouth closed, you can eat them up. Oh. And you have little guys in reserve. I thought I was trying to avoid them. Oh! You have little guys in reserve at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you can press the button to populate your your army. You oh. Press the button. You have to, and you have to touch one of those green guys to let them get them to grow up into a oh. full grown, full grown dude. There we go. Okay, no, you gotta no. catch, catch that guy. You're running out of time. Catch that red guy. That's your goal. Uh, okay. There you go. Okay, that's your goal. Did I win? And you can see it at the bottom. Yeah. He almost made it. He almost escaped to the actually very cool rainbow thing. Nobody likes that guy. Uh oh, oh, not those. Only green guys. Okay. Uh, apparently I ate a red guy. You did? From oh. above, I went like this. Oh. See? Oh no, I lost someone. Oh. But I feel like that time I didn't. Maybe it depends on what I think those... It's, I think his mouth red, was just open. Red guys are doing. Oh, their hats jump up, I think? I don't know. We'll read the instructions shortly. Oh! Oh, stinky. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I eat them, sometimes they eat me. They might just have a mouth open situation too. Yeah, they're yeah, open. They open, do mouth as well. open their mouths. And their hat goes up when their mouths are open. No, no. Oh, there's your goal. Get them. I got him. Nice. I got him, James. I got him. Hmm. I'm not dead yet. This weird, game sucks. Weird, but looks fun. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, yeah, this game, like, so far, this game is better than a lot of the... Atari games I saw from the time, so I don't know why it didn't come out. Like, it was from 83? Like, that seems like... It was just before the crash, or around the crash, and that's why it didn't come... That's partially why it didn't come out. I'm going to read an interview with the developer that will explain more why it didn't come out. You can get up to nine people, but nine might be too much. Um... Uh, so the prototype was released on Atari Age um, in 2000, around 2000, 2001. Um, and word has it that this prototype came from Rex Bradford himself, who was the designer of it at Activision. Oh. We're not a dude. Uh, along with Thwacker, Kebabber is one of the lost Activision titles that people all knew existed somewhere. But it wasn't until 2001 that a prototype was finally confirmed to exist. And the ROM was released. Oh. He's getting towards the end. But where is he? he just, there he is. Just in time. Goodness. Goodness gracious. I'm going to lose this game eventually. Uh, Kebabber was never advertised or mentioned in any Activision catalogs. Uh-oh. Um, other games by Rex Bradford. He did uh, Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And Star Wars, Star Wars Jedi Arena as well. This is on my want list. Ah! The game looks fun, like a, ah! a good pace. Well, there's no need for it to be on your want list because it never existed. There is no released version of this game, so download the prototype and then you've fulfilled your want list. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, uh, no! Other games Oh, made? there you are. I'm going to maybe get you before, well before. before well you start before. flashing and crying and carrying on. <laughs> Uh, he also did the Apple II version of Pitfall 2, uh, Apple II version of Hero, oh, oh. down to one dude. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Counting Parade on Commodore 64, uh, Some Ducks on C64, and a bunch of other games as well. Oh, my. Replenish your armor, you're not... You're down to only, uh, five reserves. Oh, you're a tiny guy! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, I died! Game over. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> your turn now. Oh, I have so much more to read. Okay. I, have a, I have a mouth. Okay, uh, so this is, read those two things. That's from an interview with him. Rex Bradford, I don't know how I came up with the Kabobber exactly. Partly I was just intrigued by the VCS sprite re replication feature and I realized that with a little clever programming I could make sense of three characters across all animated, that all animated independently. Also there was acid involved. When he didn't there's actually acid. say that he didn't he didn't I made that up. <laughs> when I first pro when I first prototyped that and had them all squawking and looking at each other, I laughed out loud and decided it was a good idea. What happened was that I finished the game in the standard 4K cartridge size. Then Activision said they liked the game and would like me to expand it to the 8K cartridge and keep working on it. I had basically run out of ideas for the game at that point and resisted. They flew me up to California to hang out with other developers as a way of getting recharged on it, which failed mostly due to my lack of interest. I remember making kebabber inspired buttons and handing them out in a lame attempt to market the game oh, to the rest wow. of Activision. And I have them that would be a collectible. And have them change their mind about it being done. Anyway, I didn't feel like working on it more, and Activision didn't want to publish it as it is, and was probably a little miffed at my attitude, though they never said so. And that was that. The version out there is exact version as completed as completed by me. This is the the version. Mm -hmm. Rex Bradford. What happened was that. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. What oh my happened god. was that I finished the game in the standard. For I think we already read that. Maybe. I may have duplicated it. It was like a short. It was like a shorter read thingy. Oh, okay. Okay. There are instructions and a website. Yes. Yeah, so and I'm not going to read that. I'll click. <laughs> Just do it. Click. Do it. Do it. What? The instructions. So you want me to click on it? Yeah. So we know how that. What the hell do we're doing here? Oh my god. All right. Uh, open. Kebabber instructions. Oh There's a picture. It is of kebabbers moving. Crafty kebabbers are running amok, and it's up to you to defeat them all. But beware, the cantankerous kebabbers are hopping mad and can hop on and pop your army of bubskis in no time at all. You'll find strength in numbers while bobbing and weaving through a kebabber grid. Promote your baby bubskis for extra help and guess... <laughs> Govski busting. <laughs> Govski. So that's quite a mouthful. Promote your baby Bubskis and, and for extra help in Govski busting. Reach Princess Bubski before she devours the rainbow energy and victory is yours. Rambo? Rainbow. Rambo? Rainbow. Okay. Before she devours the rainbow energy. Okay. Uh, next... Okay, basics. The object of Kobabra is to catch Princess is to catch Princess Bubski before she reaches the magical rainbow energy of Kobabra Land. <laughs> Hook up your video is she game the system. Bad guy? She's just a princess, she's... so she's running amok because ah. that's what princesses do. Right. They're bored. They need adventure. Stuck in their towers. Okay, so, uh, hook up your video game system. Follow the <laughs> no, manufacturer's no, 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 no. instructions. No, always skip those. Okay. Plug in the joystick. Okay. Use With the, the power red off, button. plug in the game cartridge. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right, you don't want that one either? None of those silly instructions. We know Difficulty to... switches are not used in Kebabber. Oh, my goodness. Just, you get what you get. So select game with game select switch. See, ex see explanation under games. To start, press game reset. Action begins immediately! <laughs> Use of joystick Boom. controller. To move left, right, up, or down, move the joystick controller Ow. left, Ow. right, up, or down. Ow. To promote baby buffskis, press the red button. To okay. crush enemies, move your buffski troops over them. 
Scoring. You score points by hopping on enemies. Each oh enemy my god. is. Oh my god, I'm still alive. How did that even happen? <gasps> she can eat the babies. You have to have a fully promoted one to go on her. She eats the babies. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. But I thought I died. I had like nothing left, but. Apparently you can resurrect from nothing? That's interesting. Okay, sorry. Okay. Do, 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 do. Scoring. You score points by hopping on enemies. Each enemy is worth points, depending on the current round of the game. As follows. Round 1, 20 points. Round 2, 40 points. Round 3, 60 points. Round 4, 80 points. And so on. That's in the rules, the and so on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not your addition. So you take the previous round's points and you add 20. The numbers on the upper left side of the screen indicate the player's score. Right. Oh, 1260. Uh, time. While there is no time clock, you must reach Princess Bubsky before she devours a ra magical rainbow energy field at the end of the grid. Keep a watchful eye on the monitor at the bottom of the screen. Oh enemies. There are several oh different enemies in Kebobber. Govskis. Green Bubsky. They look just like your Bubsky troops, but they're mean and green. Yeah, they're kind of mean. Oh. Cholo. Red. This red hat cool. wearing, wearing monster. Slightly faster and more elusive than the Govskis. Strovskis. Strong <laughs> Bubsky. These navy blue enemies are extremely strong and extremely fast, but they can be hopped on by an expert player. Bots equal... Boots equal indestructible, quick, deadly. Avoid them at all costs. Boots cannot be hopped on and can cut through an entire row of Bubskis in the blink of an eye. Blink, blink. Eggs. Stationary hatch. Stationary. Hatch enemies of all types. Eggs can be hopped on if they are reached before they hatch. Oh, okay. That's those purple things, I guess. Okay. I was avoiding them thinking that they might... Well, they hatch pretty quick. Murder so... me. There's the boot. There's the boot. Can you Looks help like identify wicked... each of these boot. dudes? Like, Eventually. What's that hat dude? What's that hat dude? That's a Strovsky. He seems to kill me at all times, yet the instructions say... He does, he's, he does he's, not kill you at all times. No? He's sturdier than the greens. Oh, okay. How do you kill him? When he's not got his mouth open, I think we determined. Oh, okay. Because I've killed him. So that's just how it is. Uh-oh. <sighs> Sorry, I saw the princess Nobody with her talking? mouth open. talking? What's going on? Uh-oh. They're all really in a rapture by my game plan. <laughs> Are we still connected? Yeah, still says it's all good. You guys there? <laughs> Test one two one two microphone check. Ah, ah! Okay. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> They're just enraptured. <laughs> <laughs> okay. End of game. Game ends when you run out of Bubskis and baby Bubskis, or Princess Bubski reaches and devours the magical rainbow energy. Neither is oh good. My God. If you lose all your on your on screen Bubski troops, but still have baby Bubskis in reserve, the game is not over. Uh, quickly, that's what I just quickly promote the baby Bubskis to continue playing. Otherwise, they will simply disappear one by one until they are all gone. As long as you have at least one Bubski on the grid, the baby Bubskis will remain untouched. If Princess Bubski reaches the magical rainbow energy, don't despair. You still have a very brief chance to capture her to capture her before she <laughs> finishes devouring the energy, so keep on hopping. Games. There are four games in Kebobber. One game one, standard game. One player, the game begins on grid one. Only Govskis inhibit the first grid, and the game difficulty progresses with successful completion of each grid. New enemies appear as the game progresses. Game two, standard game, two players. This game is identically uh, blah, 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 to game one, but two players take turns completing each grid. Take turns, okay. Boo. Uh, game three, advanced game, one player. This game begins on grid three, but is identical to game one in all other aspects. My tongue's getting tired. It's getting, <laughs> it's lagging. It's lagging it's like... behind my brain. <laughs> T tongue lag. Game four, advanced game, two players. This game is identical to game three, but two players take turns completing each grid. I'm glad that they're very specific, but it, it didn't need to be read out by me, I don't think. <laughs> okay, 
Uh, how to play Kabobber by Activision. Grab a joystick controller and go. That's the only way to become an accomplished Kabobber player. Practice makes perfect. Practice maneuvering your Bubski troops around the grid until you get a feel for the movement. To release baby Bubskis, press the bu red button on the joystick controller. You have a maximum of nine Bubskis on the grid at one time. So use them wisely. You also oh might want God. to experiment with different Bubski formations to find out which particular attack pattern best suits your style of play. Keep moving. He who hesitates is lost, and he who hesitates in Kabobber quickly becomes popped on by the band of enemies. Oh my god. As long as you're oh, moving against them, it's one. much more difficult for them to crush your Bubskis. Learn the different attack patterns of the enemies and use that knowledge to your advantage. My last dude. Watch out for the dreaded black boots. They are indestructible and will quickly stomp any Bubskis in their path. Don't spend too much time going after all the green Kabobbers either. And keep an eye on the monitor at the bottom of the screen or you'll rapidly lose track of Princess Bubski. Tiny picture <laughs> that I cannot recreate with voice. Join the Activision Cub Bashers. So, we're trying for the patch. In this manual which is actually fake there is never a manual written somebody wrote this manual and i will get back to that if you score fifty thousand points and i just got twenty thousand something uh which is nowhere near 50. uh you're a top kebopper kebabber kebabber kebopper hmm. send us a picture of you with your television screen showing your qualifying score along with your name and address and we will add your name to the light mighty the list of mighty kabashers Keep your eyes in the mail for your official Kabasher emblem. Ha! Ah, look at my grid! It is it's mighty. It's full! It was full! <laughs> it's no longer full. Be sure to write minds. the name Kabobber on your score on the bottom of the envelope. Okay, it's time to go get that princess, I think. Uh, she's running a certain amount of amok. So, uh, what do you need? What is the score? Metal Atari 1969. Says looks fun and quite different. It is quite different. You need fifty thousand. No, I'm not doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least play to the end of your game. Um, I got twenty, which was challenging. Um, let me read a bit more about this. So fifty thousand points or more to earn the patch, according to the unofficial manual by Dave Jeruso. Um, so Dave Jeruso in 2000 made this manual. It's a fake manual. It's on the Atari Age forums. You can read it. Or it's on the on Atari Age, not in the forums, but in the manual section. No, 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 no. Um, How many? 50,000? There never was a real patch released. No. Official one. No, no, no. Yeah, you need 50,000. So 25 times more than what you have. Keep I going. Mean, 25 times? No, it's you only 2, 20 000. times. Uh, 2,500 is 20 times. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, on the Activision Anthology, if you score more than 10,000 points, a commercial will be unlocked. Commercial is a montage of some early Activision titles. Ah! So, uh, about the patches. As somebody, uh, Carl G. was wondering. In, two th in a 2005 thread in the Atari Age forums... It says a patch design was made by the same person who did the manual, Dave Jeruso, who created the manual in 2000. A post from Gambler172 says, Hi guys, I made some of the patches in Thailand some years ago because the Kebabber patch was never released. Like the game was never released, so now you know where they came from. I didn't make more than 10 of them. Um, so supposedly somebody made... Get it! With a full guy, yes, that's right. She eats the little ones. The way the movement works is not. It's grid like, like. it's up. It's very uh, difficult to go. Yes, yeah, not instant, right? You have to be very deliberate about the movement. There it is, there's the princess. Um, but there are new patches, which are exactly the same as the old patches. Um, the new patch is made by Machine and Roger Poco. Oh. It's $5 for the patch. Uh-oh. What happened? Uh, it's your oh, turn. Oh, he died. 10,000. I think he did better than, than before. Um, 
I have just finished writing the checkers patch letter and I did the boxing patch letter and I'm going to be writing the patch letter for this game next ah. and that will be included when you buy the new patch mm. if you feel worthy of buying the patch if you feel worthy yes I feel worthy um, <laughs> I don't feel okay. worthy I, I was, I was as Josh and I need to know what kills me and what doesn't because I was still not sure when you're reading it out um, what kills you and when it kills you I know the boots kill you at all times right the boots kill you at all times uh, it didn't specify so far in the rules it didn't say anything about their mouths being open it said learn <laughs> learn how it kills you it said learn their attacks Mm. And use it to your advantage. Okay. Uh, keep moving. Watch out for the dreaded black boots. Okay. He who hesitates is lost. As long as you're moving against them, it's more difficult for them to crush your buff skis. So you have to hop on them, maybe? Rather them hop, than them hop on you? So you're reading out, so you're the Bovskis, you have baby Bovskis, there's a Trovsky, which are the black characters. Mm -hmm. The hat guys are labeled as Cholo. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so you can defeat everything but the boots, supposedly, right? Learn the different attack patterns and use that knowledge to your advantage. Okay, so it doesn't really say. Well, did you reach the end of the book? <laughs> you reached the end of the part that I read. Yeah, you read the whole thing. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, I think you read the whole thing. I didn't get to there. Yeah, I read the points, and that's oh, just okay. talking about other things. Uh, oh, no, that is that is some things. Let's see. It's a hop or be hopped world. When you hop on enemies, you get a free baby bubski in the bottom row. Try to build up a good reserve of baby bubs bubskis in the earlier rounds, so they carry over. Yeah, but I don't think they carry beyond what you see on the screen. No, I think there's a maximum. Uh, that way, you make sure you have enough buff skis on, uh, for later rounds when the going gets rough. Really pay attention to the movement of the early kebabbers. The I think, cholos, for example, move slightly faster and more erratic than the gov skis. Uh, yeah, I think the if you go down... You always get them? I think you, I think you get them because you... You're are moving on to their spot and yes. they can't they're not moving on to yours because yes. i mean if you move down in front of them before they move but if you move down onto them i think you get them all the time we're going to play a boots. practice round about them moving into you and then we're going to try and move on to them yeah that guy moved on to them interesting uh avoid the boots at all okay uh da -da -da. Really pay attention to the movement of the enemy kebabbers. The Cholos, for example, move slightly faster and more erratic than the Govskis. You might wish to only attack the Govskis, which I was trying to do. Only the green guys, because they move slower. Uh, and avoid the tougher opponents altogether, since the same amount of points are scored for any hopped enemy. Avoid the boots at all costs, and stay away from the Trovskis as much as possible. And which one were those? No, don't go Those back. ones at the top. See? Hop, hop. The dark oh, ones. The dark ones, okay. Uh, the Trovskis are able to be hopped. Their increased strength and speed make it much more, much more difficult to be to pull it off. Okay. So, if you can read down there and then go to that game info and then go to hints. It took a few months, but I finally got around to scoring. So I'm going to let these guys hop a... Hexanine, 999,999, and Kebabber. The score freezes there. I think it actually stops yeah. at 9,980, but it changes the display to 999,999 when the game stops. <laughs> the difficulty maxes around level 8 or 12. I'm not exactly sure when, because any changes are very subtle. The scoring for each level is increased by 20 points each level, and it never maxes out. I finished on level 74 with the score, uh, with the score at 1,480 per character. If it ever maxes out beyond that, I do not know. Perhaps if you look, perhaps if you look more levels to max this, perhaps perhaps if you took 
more levels to max the score than the individual character scores would max. Mm -hmm. What is the advantage of having more of your guys on the screen any given time? Mm. You could possibly survive longer, but you're also a bigger target. Yeah, yeah, you're a bigger target, but you have more hit points. Yeah, so it's. I think it's better to have two rows. Never just have one row, because one boot could just go, you're dead. But you can always bring back your baby ones. But babies are very The other thing is vulnerable. just pressing the button only brings out the baby ones. And yep. they only get turned into adult ones by running into more of the green ones. Yep. So and so there. Um, later on, you don't have as many options. You can kill all the other guys, but they, they won't upgrade your, your little babies, as far mm -hmm. as I know. No. And you have to have a full-grown dude yep, to, to get win. the princess. It took me less than one hour to max out. This game is probably the record for the Activision game that takes the shortest time to get to 999,999. Now I will go to Game Info. Yeah, avoid that dude. Yeah, so really the only thing you want to do is fill up your row at the bottom when you can. Yep. And then get to the end. And have a decent two-row line of dudes. Well, what I mean much. is then, like, you want to race to the end and get the princess. Fast as possible. Because every round in the future is worth, especially at the beginning, yeah. where, like, round two is literally worth twice as much as round <laughs> one. Yeah. 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 There appear to be three types of levels. One is just like the first level, where you simply meet the enemies as they appear from the right of the screen. The second is where the enemies morph onto the screen and a noise is heard when they appear. The third is where they hatch from eggs onto the screen. Mm. You can tell in advance which level is about to occur by the color of the playfield background. I think the morphing yeah. levels are the most difficult. The difficulty doesn't seem to change much after the first six levels, except maybe there are less oh green guys to rebuild your own forces with. Also, the enemies move up, down, more often, right. rather than just to the left of the screen. Yeah, they're shifting now, which is, makes it very challenging. Yeah. No, no, no. It looks super cute. I'll have to give this one a try myself. It is, uh, yeah, it is complete. He said it was complete, um, the, the d developer. Um, but Activision wanted him to make it a bigger game. Activision said, it's not complete. And he said, it's more. complete. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> it is... It's done. You <laughs> should sell it. We don't want to. That sad story from you. <laughs> Everybody will not get to play Kabobber. Nobody will get to play Kabobber. Until, Until later. When... 17 years later. <laughs> when Is the prototype when gets discovered, yeah. In 2000? 2000, yeah. Oh god, a line of boots. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nope, I need to make another row. I'm pretty much avoiding... Oh my god. Avoiding everything except green guys. See, that green guy even ate my baby. Ugh, green guys keep... Oh my god! Eating my baby. I just love the animations. Yeah, they're super cute. And uh, in the uh, in his interview, he talks about he had like some sort of dream or idea about things screaming. He loved the little guys opening their mouth and going, rah, rah. <laughs> probably like Muppets or something. You don't know where the babies appear. They appear somewhere in your grid. Yeah, they're random, which is annoying. unfortunate. <laughs> Especially if it makes a third row and you're like, oh, God. I have to keep track of this third row. See? It's the third row. Somebody's gonna die. Yay! So my Ooh, best Ray. is 20,000 something. So you can kind of load up at the beginning. Oh, that's a nice pattern. Let's do that one. Oh my god. Oh, you can hop backwards. Not that you really normally want to, but to evade, you could. Oh, you. Help. <laughs> you can get the eggs if you're quick enough, but usually I find they hatch well before you even get close to it. I'm just going to eat my baby. There we go. 
Did I miss Amaze? The um, Amaze was our first game, so you well missed Amazed. Hizzy, you will have to rewind. We're on our last game right now, Cub Bobber. It's nice you get a little pause at the beginning of the level. So you can wait. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I like that it doesn't start until you decide you're going to start. Yeah, if That's you really good. I move really or like press a lot. button, then you start. But yeah, it's yeah. nice. You get a break anytime you want. Okay, so here's the hints. Okay, I I'm ready. Uh, I only use a squadron or one guy or two guys in a horizontal line, not a bunch of guys or a full nine guys. That would make it very difficult to dodge the black boots and the tough black enemies. If your you one that. guy gets smashed, be ready to quickly push the button on another screen because your reserves disappear automatically if none are on the playfield in action. They what? They, dis they disappear automatically? How? Just like they start disappearing? Hmm. To experiment on a throwaway game for that one. I don't know what they're saying. Yeah. You replenish your reserve, guys, by hopping onto green enemies only. When you have to push the button to put another into play, it will be a baby. It must be fed one green enemy in order to grow up. All other enemies will defeat the babies, including the pink princess. Try to keep your reserve babies at maximum at all times. But if you run into trouble, don't waste too much time hunting them because the princess will get away and the game will be over. Mm. I always try to attack the green enemies from above. Timing is much less critical, and you are right. less likely to get squished, squashed, since they... Squished, squashed? That's true. Uh, since they always are moving to the left forward. I hope this helps. I have more hints for anyone that needs them, but it should get you guys started. Noise. Cat? Or is that the video game? It's not a cat. Did you get your 2600 back from Nathan? Oh, what's that cat doing? Uh, yes, I did. It is all fixed, and that's what we're playing on. Isn't it crystal clear? It looks so good. So good. 37,000. Almost there. Almost. And the points get exponentially bigger. So, will I make it? I've got a lot of extra guys in reserve. The picture does look amazing. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Now. Oh, good. Turned into green guys for some reason. No, not a third row. No, the boots. So pretty much just avoid the gre avoid everything but the greens much as possible. But you do need to get greens because you need to keep your reserves up and the bottom. Mm -hmm. So avoiding everything is a big mistake. Holy crap. What? Did I get all those? 43! Almost got my punch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not many greens left. There we go. Oh my god. Get greens. Greens, greens. No! Not a boot. Oh. Oh. He, he, 50 he, patch score! There you go. Ding, 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 ding. Do you play in a modern flat screen? Yes, we do. We play on a light sixer modded with RGB slash component out, going to a frame meister, uh, upscaled oh. through a frame meister. We're watching it on a flat screen TV, 46 inch, whatever. And it's also getting encoded through, uh, I can't remember the name of it, an encoder, hardware, hardware encoder, and getting streamed to Twitch into your eyes, decoded by your computer. So that is the chain of things. And there's a lot of other encoders because we have a video camera here and we've got a microphone up here and we've got a cat there named Pixel because he's got a little spot on his stomach that he may or may not show you if you're lucky. And it's got a little pixel, it's a black it's a pixel. Trick. It's a trick, don't touch it. No, do not touch that pixel. If you touch the pixel, it's a trap. the claws come out. Okay, I need some more 
the bobbers. Oh my god. I think I'm going to die. I, I am going to die, because I have none left. I gotta go up and get these guys. Get some reserves. Ooh, I'm getting some reserves. Nice. Oh my god, they're eating the other guys. What's that? Some of the bad guys are eating the green guys. That's crazy. I saw one just devour one of the guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only one reserve. Oh my god. Yeah. The trick really is to go up and get them. Oh my god. Princess is almost at the end. Yes, we needed to do a tour of the collection. I was talking to Erlen the other day about doing it bit by bit, uh, the collection, like do my Atari 2600 homebrew first. Um, so we'll space that out. That's something to do on uh, each day. And I'll have to prepare it. I can't do it all at once because that's way too much mess. It would be everywhere. It would take forever to clean up. So I'll do like the Atari 2600 homebrew, then like Vectrex homebrew or Vectrex stuff, then NES and all the, and Coleco, just all that. And then Atari 2600 non-homebrew. Okay, I think I'm going to die this time because it's getting really hard to keep things in reserve. I'm just gonna have to go up on these guys. Sometimes you can't do that. There we go. You got nom. You got a double nom there. <laughs> nom nom. 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 Fifty six six twenty. Yes. Frame Meister adds a delay. No, it does not. It is an awesome, awesome thing. Frame Meister is made for classic gaming. Like literally made. That's what it's made for. It's to add almost no delay. It's very, very, very fast and quite expensive in terms of. Um, things along those lines. There's like the OSSC, which is a little bit cheaper. Then you can get cheap, cheap, cheap um, upscalers for like $40. They're terrible. <laughs> but they do the trick. Like they convert it from whatever to HDMI. And they're fine. They, they add a little bit of delay. So if you're playing a game that doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter for delay, then it's good. Does the Frame Meister help with screen jump? It can. It does have a setting in there that you can set from 10 milliseconds to 50 to 100 to tell it to ignore. Like, don't try and change your resolution and stuff. Uh, 100 milliseconds is not a lot of time, but it's enough. Like, if you think about if it shows, like, one frame that's off, that's one out of 60 on the 2600 anyway. So whatever... Well, it's not 100 millis. It's definitely far from 100 milliseconds. I don't know what that is. 1 over 60? You guys can figure it out. Um, if you're having screen jump, you might have a power issue. Well, if you're having screen jump, the game might be made poorly. And even games that are on cartridge have screen jump. Um, so you may not be able to avoid that in some games. Um, FrameMeister adds delay because it needs to convert to HDMI. That takes time. Yeah, it does add delay. Um, you can look up how much delay it adds, but not enough for people to be bothered. So, Kebobber. Fun That's pretty game. Cool. Yeah. Very, very colorful. Very fun. Very challenging. Um, the person who we read out the instructions from, they're able to roll it in an hour. <laughs> I cannot roll it. I am very happy with my 50,000 patch score. So now I feel justified in getting the patch, which should be coming to me soon. So I'll be able to show you guys the patch because I have it on order. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out, everyone. What games did we play today? Let's take a look. We played a maze. Very simplistic game. Running through a maze. One or two players. Cool, that is a play two player option. Uh, Darcy was able to hack the matrix and get infinite score somehow. <laughs> uh, MS, MMS BC. Uh, it was kind of a crazy game. Didn't make much sense. It was, it was pretty cool, actually. All over the place. Yeah, the, the graphics were very low resolution graphics, but the, mm -hmm. the, the gameplay was actually very cool. Like, you had a lot of control over what you did, and you could zoom around, and yep. you had to, like, 
You have to choose when to use your one bullet. <laughs> one bullet at a time. Yeah. The people in your ship are like, is the bullet gone? Okay, reload. <laughs> <laughs> is it gone? No, I can't see it anymore. Reload. Yeah. I, or it could be an overheating thing. Could be. Um, I think it's a dimensional time. thing. And uh, it warps from the, like you are creating the universe as you fly. And when it leaves the universe, it warps back into the uh, ammo magazine. Matter is neither created nor destroyed. It is conserved. Yes. So you're actually reforming yeah. your new bullet yes. from the old bullet. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, got to be it. Um, good graphics in else. that. High action. Um, I just noticed if you capture the princess with a bunch of babies, they all seem to get promoted. What? When I tried to capture the princess, the baby, she can't the capture with a baby. You have to use an adult. Oh. But all the other babies in this demo part here, anyways, yeah, it went from a uh, lots of babies grid to all adults. All up, they all up their rank. Yeah. Oh, well, let's I see. saw it before. Oh, and... it's got a baby. Do it. Show us. Oh no! Oh, there's a baby. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. it Randomly it does go a weird down. Thing. It doesn't even try. Random. Go down. Oh. It doesn't even try to uh, <laughs> to capture her sometimes in the demo. It's like now it can't. <laughs> nope. No, it definitely can't. Oh, she's gonna. You're gonna lose her. You're you're done for. Yeah. This, this is she's the almost to the end. Lose. Oh, you lost. It looks like the demo's just like random. Button random, up, down. It doesn't matter. I'm just pressing things. <laughs> uh, Trash Mania. That was, that was actually more challenging than I thought. Jumping over that. I it was, was so challenging was that you chastising rage Chastising Darcy. He didn't even rage reset. He rage quit. <laughs> I did. I thought I could get it. You could have. I think but... I got about five. I could have, but I, I didn't want to keep going on that one. Yeah, it was... Uh... It's more challenging than you think. I was I was giving you heck, going Darcy, come on. We're I, we're all used to it. We're all used to getting. <laughs> and it. I played it, and then I grew some empathy. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't. You, that's called sympathy. The sympathy. Empathy is where you understand someone without having experienced what they experience. Sympathy uh, is is understanding someone true. because you experienced what they are. That's true. And that's yeah. the worst type. <laughs> no, it's not. They're both they're both good. Well, empathy is slightly better because then you don't have to go, oh, that's what it feels like. It's, neither one is better. No? Uh, no, because empathy empathy can be wrong. Mm. So can sympathy. Yeah, Some person might not be feeling as bad as you do or in that situation. but That is true. They're both good. They are both very good to have. You got a patch. All we need is for the Canucks to win. It'll be a good weekend. Are they playing? I have no idea. I do not follow hockey. I'm guessing... You live near here. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just, you're cheering for a. For Otherwise, you would have said all you need <laughs> yes. instead of we. We, that's the key word. You yeah. gave yourself away, Hizzy. Uh, then we played <laughs> Trash Mania, which has a lot of really good ideas. Uh, collecting the trash and dropping it off, and especially I love love games when you can take over the enemy in the game with the second player. It's so much fun. Montreal. Ah, okay. Do you not have a team there to root for? Well, it's fair enough. We have a great many Montreal like, Canadiens fans in true. Vancouver. That's so true. maybe there's some... Uh, there you go. Oh, uh, like just... the West Coast team? Yeah. Go Canucks. <laughs> go local team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to make a homemade teleprompter for your Gal from your Galaga poster. No, don't touch my signed Galaga poster. <laughs> this is signed by the artist who made the Galaga... 7800 <laughs> maybe uh, you leave the Gallica poster up and then we can see the reflection of the teleprompter from behind the couch there you go it's it's with the teleprompter would just be like butts and fart jokes and that's right see they do make teleprompters that you can put your tablet in because i mean you make the font big enough it would be totally fine putting it up like right there and that's and they have like little buttons that you can scroll through, like a Bluetooth. Yeah, the button. Th the reason that wouldn't work for us is that we're not actually reading the prompter. No, we're looking at it so that we can look at the camera while we're looking at the screen. Yes, yes, we want to see all the things, so we would need, we you know, we would benefit from the large screen in the same way. I guess with Atari, this with is a pretty good resolution, but it's still that's still far away. It I is. still say no. I mean, we would have it for the chat. 
That's what we're doing. I gave weekend. up small screens in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, you went big, big. Your 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 computer screen is like this big, isn't it? It's, it's like thirty really, inch. Thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But so, the yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. And we played Kebobber, which is actually a really, really good game and should have been released by Activision. Does Twitch support a chat-only screen? Yes. With the, yeah, because this is the chat-only screen. Yeah, you don't have to watch. Um, what you can do is, in the options, there's a pop-out option. I just go to Advanced. It's the little, uh, little gear icon and then click on advanced and it says pop out screen and then you can put that anywhere you want um put it in the top corner you don't have to have it attached to the video um oh one second i was gonna order something i don't know if it's still up for order at three o'clock it is one second i'm ordering things because <laughs> it's uh, uh limited run games and if I don't order it, it'll take like two seconds. So, Darcy, you're in control. So, I was talking before about my <laughs> ROV. Yes, tell them about your ROV. <laughs> and how very exciting and the videos channel. are. Some of the videos are of very deep excursions. Uh, the deepest is something like 235 meters, which is 3.3 feet per meter. So, you're getting oh, close to that. me to identify boats. What's that? <laughs> it's asking me to identify boats. Oh. I've never had to identify boats before. <laughs> They're tracking you in the water now. Google. Google. <laughs> anyway, so it's like 900 feet deep. So it's pretty deep. And some of the videos are of uh, tubes imploding. So that's always exciting. It's like an explosion, but in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> what? An implosion? Yeah, it's an implosion. Yeah. Hi. I mean, it's more of a explosion because it goes in and then out that's explosion. very exciting yeah uh yes but you have a channel do you want people to know your channel oh yeah it's open rov 272 excellent because that's and what do you have on there uh it's just all videos from roving and uh there i haven't actually put up any for a little while because i've been busy with other things uh but there's a bunch there if you want to see some stuff from underwater. Uh, yeah. If you want to see things under the water. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Save yourself Have you made time. a best of video no. yet? Oh, you no. should do that. I pause the video on the laptop. Pause the video. Then you can't hear us or see us. What is the point? You just chat with... <laughs> you just, you just, I just come here to chat. <laughs> no, 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 he said he watches on his TV. You got to read all oh, the things. You're not just the last one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I ordered my thing. Um, yeah. Played back to Atari. Back to Atari. Sorry. <laughs> what is the scariest thing you a saw? A shark. In the water? How big was the shark? Actually, it isn't the scariest thing. But I did see a shark. I don't know how big it was, but it mm. was a shark. Yeah. And there is a video. You can tell which one it is because it says shark. Um, <laughs> It was probably about this big. It was just a little shark, a little dogfish. Is that your um, most viewed video? Because it said shark? No, it's the one with a gun. I found a, a handgun um, underwater in False Creek. Um, I I was at the dock looking underwater. I find this gun. It's got, it's a pistol. It's got a scope on it. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> That's, so that I, is crazy. I take a screenshot. I'm right there. I look up. There's a sign that says if there's anything strange called, like, like if there's a problem Right. You know, because the police are in charge of, like... The water. Boat prop. Whatever, yeah. Because it's an inlet. So yeah. I called the police, and I tell them about it. And then I he gave me an email address, and I sent it to him. And um, Hi. he got back to me later, and it wasn't actually a handgun. It was a lighter. Like a replica uh, a replica gun. Yeah. But it's still, like, the... the, the, it's the a good script, replica? The, <laughs> that, actually, that may or may not have been the most Did watched Did you retrieve one. it, or do you report it? I didn't. It? I just I just reported it with, and the picture from the camera was good enough oh. that they could read on the barrel. It, I got a good uh, screenshot of it. Yeah. So did they say go back and get it, or did they say we're going to get it? So we they don't said get ten it more is reports. Not, they, how are they going to get ten reports? Who know. goes on? Uh, who's <laughs> you do? <laughs> yeah, but there's I'm not going to report it ten times. <laughs> no, not you, but somebody <laughs> else. Uh, I, I mean, do it's you, still you, a funny story. It is, but it's not as good as if it was a real gun. That would have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 
And also one time... It was time, good enough to fool you, right? It was like, it looked... I thought it was a gun. Legit. I called them thinking, wow, it looked... Like it even had the sort of aftermarket grip <laughs> you would get on a... That you would put on a, a pistol that you also put a scope on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it yeah. was like... The scope is almost kind of a giveaway that's like... Mm, who puts a scope on a handgun? The sort of ridiculous person <laughs> that would lose their gun in the water True. might put a scope on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So thank you everybody for watching. Next episode, we're actually have almost all the games ready. I need one more. Uh, I have Whack-A-Mole, 2600 Triss, Atomic Meltdown, Cave Ropes, and To Be Announced. To Be Determined, actually. Because to be announced means I may know it. To be determined means I don't know it. Does that make sense? It may, to be announced may also mean that I don't know it. But yes. to, to be determined definitely means I don't know it. Yes, but <laughs> others might use it wrong. But yes. you clearly understand the difference. <laughs> yes, because I used to put TBA, but now I know it's like, no, I don't know what I'm putting there. <laughs> I'm going to put TBD. <laughs> As if people care. People yeah. don't care. You're being uh, judged. I am at all times. They're all they're all predicting whether or not you know or don't know, and they're judging you on it. <laughs> um, and then next Friday is our developer spotlight on uh, Daryl Spice Jr. from Spiceware. Um, and if you have questions, make sure you go into the forums under the clubs section and leave some questions in the Zero Page Homebrew Club. You'll find it. It's under discussions. Uh, so is the icon yeah. for Daryl for Spiceware is it like a flame or is it a pepper or is it like a leaf of oregano or a basil basil ba 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 basil leaf? It's it's the or... worms from Arrakis. <laughs> the spice yeah. must flow. <laughs> it's a glowing blue eye. <laughs> it's that floating worm creature. What is that thing anyway? With the pig nose that sniffs the spice all the time. And can travel to be, to between dimensions. In Dune, oh, yeah, that was just the water. movie. That was in the movie. Oh, the movie. Like, I think that was like because that was uh, David Lynch. Yeah. That was no more David Lynch. <laughs> I see. Of of no more David Lynch fame. <laughs> <laughs> Although I like that movie, so whatever. It's but pretty cool. Movie. I was I was very surprised when I read the book and I was like, when do the weirding modules come into it? <laughs> <laughs> just, they just made that up for the movie. That's crazy because it's like a big thing. It's like the thing. It's like, cool, weirding modules thing. This is what makes us good fighters. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you, Captain Classic. For I knew that I knew that I should know because I'm sure I saw it, but then yeah. it just occurred to me that I, I can make a joke about about non not knowing pepper. about pepper. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I actually I, don't remember what it is. Spiceware. What does he use, actually? Got his games here. I don't think he has a symbol. I think well, I would like to propose a, a logo. A leaf. He just has. Of basil. Basil. Ba basil. 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 Depends. Why, why do I? Depends why am I? From. Why am I confused about that? Basil's like British. And basil is like North American. Yeah, I would never say basil. It's like that's like saying bagel. <laughs> As opposed to bagel. Bagel. Can I have a bagel? <laughs> Give me one of those bagels. <laughs> He's got like a Star Wars type yeah, kind yeah. of extended font thing. Space rocks. Same I don't stories. know. I think you could add a little spice to your Look at that. to your logo. It's backwards. Yeah, it's pretty oh, great. It's oh. pretty awesome. <laughs> Very clever. Um, yeah. Ha thanks for hanging out, everyone. Captain Classic. Is, don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do what? wreck the, the the pixels on the screen pushing in the pixels what? rainbows How, it's rainbows. 2020 your screen isn't touch screen that's my problem yes like, <laughs> that did have an option but we're like we don't we'll never use a touch screen for extra 500 dollars or whatever it is my laptop costs 500 dollars, <laughs> and it, <laughs> and it, it comes a with a touch screen okay <laughs> um Captain Classic, Carl G, Splendid Nut, Hizzy 2002, 2022, uh, Metal Atari 1969, Nathan Strum, Splendid Nut, I said that, uh, Dan AVC, who else, Kev Kelly, Carl G, 06502, 
Uh, Alnifer, Thrust 26. Smitty B7800. I think he likes the 7800. Uh, who else? Arena was here. Oh, he jumped in for a second. Didn't even see him. Must have been playing. Dr. Moo Cows. I think you followed. Thanks for the follow earlier on. Uh, that's as far as we go back. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Good show today, as I said before. Thank you very much. If you can't do it with quality, do it with quantity. <laughs> that's what I always say. Um, the, quantity some... has a quality of its own. <laughs> that's right. Some of these games are pretty simplistic today, but they can be fun. They can be challenging too. Like the garbage that frustrated me that I couldn't get all nine. I only get five. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Uh, but we'll be back on uh, next. I definitely like the gameplay of Remix better. Yeah, it was yeah. a lot more complex and a lot more things going on, especially the enemies going side to side that just push you. That is rare. That enemy doesn't kill you. It yeah. inconveniences you. And I assumed that it was going to kill me. It took me a long... because yeah. Because you can move fast, it took me a long time to get hit by them. Yeah. And I assumed that they would kill me. And so I was avoiding them like the plague. Yeah. Instead of like things that might be mildly irritating. And and that's what's great about playing some of these games is that you can come up with these crazy concepts that are not used in any other game. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, an enemy that inconveniences you. <laughs> Where do you see that? They all kill you. They all shoot at you. But do they inconvenience you? No, but these do. Sometimes they inconvenience <laughs> you. Usually, though, it makes you angry. And in this case, yeah. it did not make me angry. No, because they were just like, ah, you pushed me to the side away from something. It's just funny. Um, yeah, so we're back on Tuesday evening with Tanya um, at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So we will see everybody then. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.